Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John. I'm Claire. That's Ted over there, and welcome. Are you, I'm just going to cut the end, many. Oh, this is many. Uh, hopefully, you've got that by now. This is many a true note, and welcome back to Seed Investigate to Crime Seed Investigators. Someone owns that trademark. They wanted to call this game Crime Seed Investigators. Like, so I say probably CSI. Yeah, but that's called CSI. Does CSI owe the trademark to Crime Seed Investigators? Like, is that, is that, well, I know there's like CSI Miami and stuff. Is that, it was the original series, like CSI Crime Scene Investigate. Oh, Crime Scene Investigation. Oh, that's different. You can get away with being CSI Crime Scene Investigators. Like, you know, just use some budget, budget actors. I'm sure you could get away with that. You probably, you wouldn't be able to probably get away with the cities. Then you'd have to be, you know, CSI standing for Crime Scene Investigators, like, nearby cities. Like, CSI Tampa. <laughs> that's, 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 you could do that, that, that would work. Welcome to Seed Investigators, which is a game about solving crime. Which, and as a result of that, I thought, you know what? If we do this live, I can bring Claire along with me. And Claire can help point out things such as, John, the footsteps never went away from the body. Which is the first the first thing Claire said to me. Which Because I never, I never spotted that the footsteps went into the room that didn't leave. So it's pretty clear who was the who was the dead person in the video. I didn't get that. Claire spotted that straight away. So we, we, we've, we've brought Claire along. And that's why Super Chats are off. So that, yes, Claire can focus on the crime and help me solve crime. Okay? Claire's going to help me solve crime this evening. We're going to solve crime together <laughs> in Seed Investigators. It's going... CSI Hull. See, good to CSI Hull. <laughs> <laughs> It's a better, it's a better series set in Hull than a Hull Razors. God, I hate Hull yeah, Razors. so mad about Hull Razors. Some of our Hull Razors. All right, mm -hmm. Ted's Ted snuggled down on the sofa. He's ready to assist with crime. If we need, like, a sniffer dog, Ted is good at sniffing. He doesn't necessarily track, you know, like, a particular thing or track it down or provide... But, like, he, he sniffs. He's a dog and he can sniff. Ergo sniffer dog. Like, you know, logically that makes sense to me. Yeah, I mean, if... If it was the fox that did the murder, then yes. If it was a fox, a nearby fox that did the murder, Ted could definitely find that. But... And if the murder was done by his own butt... <laughs> if the murder was done by his own butt... If, not if to a put murder it... was committed by Ted's butt, which in all fairness it could be, because bloody hell, the smell of his not farts... Not to put it... Not to put too fine a point on it, but we won't need a sniffer dog if his uh, butt was doing Ted's, the crime. Ted's farts are so terrible that it's theory he could, he could poison someone to death with his own farts. Ted's butt could be the perpetrator. And then Ted would be able to sniff out, sniff out his own butt. It would be great. So... This is Seed Investigators. We're going to we're going to solve some crime here today. It's good. We're, we're, this is going to be fine. I, I, I'm going to I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve the crime. I'm going to uh, solve. They the want to know who is uh, Holmes, who is Watson, who is Batman, who is Robin. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like I'm Batman and you're Oracle. I was just saying this because you are literally currently a redheaded girl in a chair. Like that's you. you you're, you're Oracle right there. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm like Batman, but cooler. I could be Nightwing. Yeah, Batman, but cooler. Sure. Mm-hmm. There we go. I think I think Nightwing and, and Oracle were, got together, but possibly earlier in the concert. Wait, did they? There's too many cooking Robins. Anyway, this is all going to be fine. Absolutely fine. So welcome to Scene Investigators. We, during the video, uh, we, we did the break-in. I mean, it does seem like they got together. That is a cover that looks that, like they're getting married. That they look they look quite married under that circumstance. So we did the break-in last time. If you're curious, like, uh, what, what's going on over here. Preliminary trial is like a tutorial, which I actually recorded myself doing. But it, like, it's, it's quite simple. It's just introducing you to how <laughs> how the game works. So I kind of cut that out of the video. Then there's then there's a, a a fairly simple introductory file. So I, I I I cut straight over to here to the fourth floor, which like the real mystery is. Yes. Why why are you why are you laughing like this? Because NB Brit says John is more like Calendar Man. I think that's a huge compliment. Yeah, you love the naff Batman villain. I love the naff Batman the... villain. I I could also be Condiment King, given I enjoy yeah, Catch Upon. I enjoy Catch Upon everything, so I feel like I am yeah. Condiment King. 
Like, but maybe I'm not. I'm not qualified to be condiment king because I, I don't really like mustard on things that much. Maybe you are vimes. Like I feel uh, like I, I feel like I'd be like I'd, if I was if I was condiment king and have the ketchup in my right hand and use it all the time. Now the mustard in my left hand. I'm very very right right hand dominant. So I'd use the mustard very occasionally, but mostly it would be ketchup. That would work. Um. <laughs> Cornac says uh, Vimes is the best crime burst buster. Yep. That's, you could be Vimes. That's fair. Yeah. That that seems reasonable. Then who would you be? Nanny Og, obviously. Who else would I be? I was thinking Detritus. Fuck off. <laughs> Detritus is great. I love Detritus. Me too. But like, who else do you think I am in Discworld? Magrat. I'd put you as Magrat above Nanny Og, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Make a lot of food. A lot of dirty jokes. Yeah, that's fair. You're you're a bit of both. You're a bit of both. You could be Pedita. Mm. You could be Pedita. Anyway. I know she's not in most many of the witches' novels, but she's there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ted is Nobby. <laughs> that's fair. He is indeed. A, he, <laughs> we love you, he, Ted. We do, Ted's breed is a, is a mystery to the ages. So that's that's true. He does have to carry a certificate around with him at all times to prove he's a dog. That's that's reasonable. Okay, let's jump into a crime. Okay, we got oh. we got the fourth floor here. So we did we did the break in, we did we did the break in right there. And so we're going to do number two, the dinner party. Bear in mind, do we jump in? We've no idea what the crime is because uh, just I'm not sure if I actually mentioned this in the uh, the video. The setup is, by the way, these are like setup crimes as an exam. You're like doing an exam to prove you're you're good enough to solve crime. Like the Batman set this up and like given it to the new the the, the Robin to see if to see if he could figure it out etc etc. Many so a true knobby. <laughs> uh, also, Trooper Thingy points out Claire is so poison ivy. Do oh, you yeah. remember? Do you remember a few Christmases ago? Oh, yes. We were we yeah. were having the normal Christmas dinner we have with your family, and yeah. I was wearing a green dress, and my hair's always red. Yeah. And your nephew mm -hmm. at the time was playing with a Batman Lego set and told me I was Poison Ivy. Okay, that's that's fair. I will yeah. keep that forever. Okay. That was such a good compliment. And he didn't realize how much ammunition he'd given me. What we've got here is it's, okay, it's April 24th, 2002. <laughs> and we have got an item. One medicine bottle. The police found this bottle at the scene of the crime. It has confirmed the cause of death was this bottle. So it is Spazaz. Spazax! Spazax! Spazax, it's a good thing. So, okay, we might need to pay attention to what's actually on the la label. So, severe liver damage, more than 4,000 milligrams of Spazax in 24 hours, uh, other drugs containing Spazax, or alcohol. Yeah, okay. Well, if we're going to a party, that could be the problem. Never take more than 7,000. Stop it if uh, pain is getting worse, new symptoms, internal bleeding, may cause vomiting, internal bleeding, and dizziness. Okay. We can check this at any time. Okay, so liver damage occurs if more than 4,000 milligrams, and presumably 7,000 is where it's really, really properly lethal. Yeah, but like, a, okay. yeah, less than that, okay. but with alcohol. I feel like the alcohol or other drugs is going to be the. Need, like, if we check the bathroom cabinet, we might find other drugs containing. Spazax. Indeed. That's the problem. So, and then okay. the question is, was it an accident? Or was it a murder? Did somebody give him a... Did somebody give the person who died? Well, speaking of which, mm. how many people live in this apartment? So not the visitors, presumably there's some of the people who we will find evidence of mm. will just be visiting for a dinner party. Who is Jessica's cousin? Who sat in chair number four? Who was killed? Who is the killer? Like, okay. I don't know if nobody is an acceptable answer. If, like, you know, we can do an odyssey here. But all right, so we're going into, yeah, there was there was the apartment we did previously, but it's locked on this occasion. So that area is inaccessible for this exam. There's still nothing at the back here. We'll be going to 403 later. There's apparently a party going on in there. So, okay, here we go. I think we have successfully found the victim. Well, and there is a glass of wine immediately Two-dimensional and made of flipping chalk. Well, then again, just because, the, yeah, the, if someone wanted to kill someone, then if you were to slip that into someone's drink and then give them alcohol, it could mm. be a way of poisoning. So, okay, the place we've got to uh, interact with is... No, literally not that. So it is literally just this room. Oh, there's if... not a door behind you? Huh? Oh, hang on. 
None of that is okay, accessible. Okay, all inaccessible. All but there inaccessible. were doors. You didn't notice the doors. I'm gonna be honest. I missed two doors. We're off to a. This we're is off, why we're I'm off here. To a flying star. I just came here and was like, well, there's no way to access this, so there's nothing else in the apartment. Oh yeah, there's two doors over there. I didn't didn't notice the I didn't notice the two doors. I'm going to be honest. That's that's true. That is that is definitely that is unfortunately the case. Yes. So we can just zoom in if we want to. Okay. So. So, so, so. First things first, let's figure out what's going on in this. We can't actually close. You can't close the door, fascinatingly. Okay. Envelope. Get you. Hang on. Why are you, why are you misbehaving? Hello. There we go. Ronnie Grayson. But that is going to... Aha! Apartment 402. So this is the apartment. Okay. It's, oh, is that how they write addresses in the US? Do you put, like, the, the street address first and then the apartment number below it? Because we would always do it the other way around. You'd always put, like, the flat number at the top, then the street address. Like, it gets wider and wider out. Oh, is this, like, American dating systems where they go stupid stuff, like, month, day, year? They go, okay, street, then into the exact room in the, in the street, and then back out again to the city. So, we may reasonably assume Ronnie Grayson lives here. This yeah, and that well, was from West Pike Auto. This may well be, yes, the the Grayson household. Other people with the Grayson name seem like, you know, a good a good bet, potentially. We've got ourselves one lovely, lovely wallet. So that's Ronnie. That's the same chat, Ronnie. Are you making notes? Yeah. Wow, that's your organized. So Just yeah. the spelling of the names. Yeah, so Ron, Ronnie Grayson. Fair enough. Nothing... Well, more information about him, but uh, which we may well need in future. So bear in mind, if we need personal information about him, we've got a rather useful ID card for him there. A recent... That was today. 24th of April is today. So this is presumably just before this party. Bought a box of a Da Vinci wine. So okay, bought like a, a crate of wine of some description. Jeez, that's expensive. Bo what, $46 for an entire box of wine? There might be like four bottles or like a really large crate. That's not that bad. I Christ, mean, you, you just buy the cheap plonk, don't you? Glenn's no, why is cheap go, in Cle France, Glenn just wants to go into restaurants. Yeah, just just pour the second cheapest down my throat. Dear, oh dear, you're a classy bird. Well, and the plus well, side is a cheap date, clearly. Wine is just cheap in France. Mm-hmm. We need to. We did. We're not sure 100 percent what they mean by the box da Vinci wine, but okay. There's yeah, alcohol fine. present, and nothing on the back. Okay, fine. We can we can go back to that later, if need be. Lewis Hampton. That will presumably be a law firm he may well work at. So come back to that later. Ronnie Grayson. Okay, his uh, credit card. Hospital. Abortion, Abortion clinic. clinic. Just okay. a logo on the back. Okay. Odd thing to carry a permanent card around in your wallet for, unless he's been given it unless extremely recently. he works there and the attorney thing is actually just him having an attorney. Possible. Yeah. Okay. And then Celine's Kitchen. This is... Do we have any dates? This is back in the 14th of February. So this was approximately two months ago. Valet parking. Okay. Date, yeah. So... So that's Valentine's Day. Yep, true. So arrived somewhere at 10 to 7 in the evening. Left at 20 past 8. The ticket was printed two minutes after that point. So okay, that's approximately hour and a half, give or take. Feels a tiny bit short for a Valentine's Day dinner, but... I don't know, maybe a But, like, that's evening. an interesting thing to have in your wallet months and months later. I don't know. Sometimes I just put a, a, a receipt well, into my... True, sometimes I, I just put a receipt in my pocket and then just dig it out a year later. It's just because I, you know, if I get hands to it, I shove it in my pocket and I might mm. just forget about it. Could be a false friend. Hard to say. Okay. So that's all we've got here. But, yeah, we've got two things that, yeah, that could be his lawyer, potentially. All right. And yeah, we'll have to see if we get any like computers or anything, given that we uh, don't have access to the rooms. Mm-hmm. All Let's right. Check if there's anything going on. Anything's been dropped on the floor around here. So okay, we've got a Ronnie Grayson. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the look at the cigarettes. Uh, I'm not sure we can. I can we zoom can't. in a bit. Okay. But cool. Just 
there's definitely cigarettes that are very they, they do wide. not look like cigarettes, eh? Like... Weird. Something burnt? They're... Yeah, they don't look like the butt of anything, to be honest. Cigarettes or, or if funky I, If I go into crouch mode, it doesn't work. They're mm. literally fat. It's like something's been... Okay, well, come back to that later. Okay. One handbag. Okay. Lipstick, I assume? Water resistant, uh, yeah, leaves yeah. no marks. Nothing particularly dramatic. Pink lilac. Best as I can tell. Matchbook from that from same restaurant. From that same restaurant. place. So, okay, that would suggest that this belongs to his partner, wife, something. Yeah. Uh, the bag suggests woman to me. I can't prove it, but... And then... Smoking aid. Okay, so a nicotine patch. Smoking aid. Oh, hang uh, on. Let's oh, have a oh, look oh, at oh, this. Oh, hang on. Active ingredients, just nicotine. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, and with the fact that we've seen the This wouldn't be enough to come. kill someone, though. No, it wouldn't, but it's something to keep in mind. It might be, you yeah. know, some kind of indication of, uh, yeah. Could be a false friend. Let's remember that's there, but it doesn't seem like that's immediately relevant, mm, to And be could we see anything on the phone, like in the previous one? The phone? The landline no nope. no interaction ah, with that enough. no messages no anything so okay oh now we're in april so it's not like monday no, it's, it's april 24th we know it's april 24th oh okay yeah, yeah. it said april 24th so jessica's birthday let us work under the assumption that potentially if the party is taking place at this address and it's written on the calendar there is a decent chance that jessica is the woman who owns the bag and is ronnie's partner Starting yes. assumption. I mean, it would be. It, it feels a bit odd if it's like Jessica was a friend that they would host their friend's birthday at that. Not impossible. No, but they unlikely. could be. They could, you know, it could always be a they were roommates situation. Mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't really make a material difference. Ronnie recently went off to somewhere else and then came back. So, okay. She had an appointment. Dr. Richardson, is that who was on the clinic card? It's possible. Hang on, let's check Dr. Richardson against that, uh, against the thing. See if we can come up with... No, Charleston. Yeah, but that's the director. That wouldn't be the person you'd go and see if you were actually having an appointment at the abortion clinic. You wouldn't go and see the director, would you? No, not necessarily. That'd be someone who maybe you'd have an initial consultation with, but you wouldn't mm. actually go there for the appointment, would you? You wouldn't expect the director to actually do the procedure. Uh, and over here... Hampton, yeah. That's Lewis Hampton, I think, is the name of the... Ah, Lewis Hampton at Lewis Hampton Law. So he'll be the senior partner because it's literally... Yeah. Yeah, he's named his law office after himself. So Richardson doesn't match up with either of them yet. Uh, but thing of note, I think, would you necessarily... Like, on a, on a calendar that's hung up on a wall next to the table where you're about to host a party, if that was an abortion appointment, would you put that on a calendar that's in a public-facing room next to the dinner table? I think you wouldn't. Well, you might not, but it also depends, like, you know... Hmm. I mean, it depends on so many factors. And also, it's an appointment on a Sunday, yeah. which I think is maybe the more interesting consideration there. That's a good spot. And CBA... 50th anniversary special. Mm. That's just like a show to me? TV network? Something? Maybe. 50th anniversary special. The word special strikes me it's, as it's, event. It's funny how little is on the calendar and therefore how really? I mean, you assume... I mean, I know our calendar's crowded because we put videos of every day on our calendar. I'm not sure this looks particularly unusual for a normal human being calendar. No, I meant more like the... Does it match? Do Does the momentousness of everything have to match up, you know? Mm. Like, mm, I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Motion kitchen. over into the kitchen. So here's those bottles of wine that they were. There's da Vinci. The da Vinci. Da Vinci. Yeah. So, yeah, we know about this. Just uh, zoom in. If you're new to the art of drinking... So, okay, this is... One reasonably assumes that, yes, if this wine has literally got little joke instructions about how to hold a wine glass, this is not a connoisseur's wine. This is... This is, this is it's no, a this, 14% this is, wine, though. This is the cheap plonk you'll enjoy. Contains instructions on how to hold a Dude, wine this glass. this is a 14% wine. Mm -hmm. Yep, quite That's strong. That's not nothing. That's fortified, if yeah. anything. Okay, this will be the food that was served. One kind of tomato-y, chicken -y dish. One, I don't know, leaky vegetable stew. 
Okay. And is that... What was that on the... Sorry? Is that lipstick on the side of the coffee thing, or is it just a bit worn out? Oh, it's just a picture of oh, a flower. Oh, it's just a flower, it's a okay. picture of a flower. Then we've got ourselves... Oh, notes on the fridge. Guess. Victor, James, and Carol. So people named Victor, James, and Carol are not permanent residents. And that's one of the things we're supposed to be figuring out, who are the permanent residents, which right now I think is Ronnie and... Jessica, maybe? Jessica, yeah. Seems the most likely. So we've got three guests, but hang on. Ah, here we go. Look no. at the number of look at the number of sit, place sittings around the table. So there's five. So five. three guests. So that would suggest three guests, here, two yeah. people living here, which suggests to me we figured out who lives here. Mm. Because if well, unless someone who lives here was not invited to the party, like they would say, you know, they say they had another roommate who simply and they simply said to him, "Hey, we're having friends over this evening. Would you mind going over to your girlfriend's place?" And he said, "Yes." Yeah. It's not impossible. I mean, we know this game likes playing for like the fake babysitter. In the first, yes. in the first, in the first game, just because there are five places and we know there are three guests, that does not mean two people live here. It just means two people who live here attended the di the dinner. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can we open the fridge? Is there another not note on the fridge? Or uh, it looked like there was another one. We cannot open the fridge. Reminder: My cousin cannot drink anything with alcohol. Uh, serve him something else instead. So Jake? the cousin is Victor. Huh. Why would she say that? Because James is left-handed. The way that it's phrased, we have three guests. Presumably, Carol is female, so wouldn't be using uh, Good him spot. pronouns. Yeah. And then James, it's a different name, and yeah. I feel like correct. yeah, the way it's phrased. Okay, so Victor is their cousin. You're correct, and also James is left-handed, which would suggest that the cutlery would be set backwards from your usual traditional orientation. Or is indeed, is he in place for? Uh, no, he is in place five because the knife is to the left. Everyone else's knife is to the right. So the left-handed chap is, was that James? Yeah. I'm James is officially so. in place five, which means officially James is not in place four. So we can eliminate James from place four. Now, let us also, just, just thinking about this, if we have a, a partner... That looks like James didn't show up, actually. You know what? You're right. It looks like James didn't didn't show up. Good spot. But what I was about to say is, Sorry. if we have the partners of Ronnie and Jessica, and they are a part, and they are partners, you would expect maybe two things to occur under this scenario. I think you would put if there was a couple, they're either sitting next to each other or they're sitting opposite each other, or if they're very old fashioned, Ronnie might sit at the head of the table. These are three possibilities. Yeah, I but... think I think if you if you were laying out a table, you would never create a scenario where one part of a couple was here and one part of a couple was here. True, I, I think that would be a weird layout. I will also say yeah. that I think if uh, Ronnie wanted to go to the head of the table, I think he would go here rather because this is so close to the kitchen. If I was hosting a party and yeah. I was in charge of the food, that's where I would sit, so I could go in so and out. So you could and get grab in and out food. super easily, because well, actually, you know, the person sitting here could very easily get in and out yeah, just as all well. That. But you're, that, you know, what? That's actually a really good thing. Like you would not put the person who was in charge of creating the food in this situation. So but the I mean, problem is we don't know who the likely chef is out of Ronnie or Jessica. No, of course. Depends on the nature of their relationship. It could be either. It could be both. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, let's see if we can find anything else in the kitchen, because there's things on the side of the fridge anyway as well. Yeah, there's a duck. Ooh, quack, duck. Quack, 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 There we go. That was duck. We verified we know what a duck is. But, yeah, there's... And there's stuff on the... Side, yeah. Side here. Happy holidays, lots of love, the Gibsons. That might be the that might well have been the other that may be the other group that got, just got murdered the other day. I'm not sure. There's been a lot of deaths in this particular location. And Merry Christmas, baby girl. But I can't. That yeah. looks like a Bible verse, Matthew two nineteen. But I, I can't. Mean, yes. It's we can't interact with it. So we, being able to read every Fair word enough. of that can't be important. So okay. We've Ooh. also got yourselves, like you were saying here, four washed up, maybe starter plates for the first course, so further evidence that someone didn't show up. And a list of some sort. Ooh. Ingredients. Beef stew. So, okay. Red wine in it. Yeah. I mean, it's not enough, surely, to poison somebody. I mean, with maybe if you mixed, maybe if you mixed it with either the thing that says don't mix this without. I mean, wait, wouldn't the alcohol 
burn off or evaporate off. Depends how you cook it. Because mm. remember, on MasterChef, sometimes they don't cook the alcohol enough, and they say, you haven't cooked it enough, it's still really sharp. Mm, or whatever. Okay. Maybe it actually says in this thing. Mm. Pour in wine, scrape. Uh, and then that's on another page. I don't think I can turn over to the other page. No. No, I can't. So, okay. It's yeah. possible there might be a small amount of alcohol in the beef stew, which, okay... If the beef stew contains a small amount of alcohol, hang on, which of these is the beef stew? Oh, it has to be the red one. Oh, yeah, because they mentioned tomatoes, weird. didn't they? So there's alcohol. There is. Oh, it would a, just also be weird to have beef There and is a small amount of alcohol in this. Now, hang on. Based on the colour of what's left on the plates, we might be able to figure out who had what. Now, well, hang on. The chappy. Chappy, hang on. My cousin cannot drink. Victor cannot drink. Anything with alcohol. Now, which of these play settings does not have a wine glass? Aha! Give him something else. Cup of tea. Yeah. So, Victor had a mug containing, I don't know, tea, coffee. Mm. By the looks of it. Not water, unless that's a, just a weird rendering. Uh, but he also, by the looks of it, he had the red dish. He and everyone else, by the looks of it, had the white dish, based on what's here. Yeah. So the red. So he is the only person that ate that. Now, th okay, we're still a long way away from locking it down, but let's talk theoretics here. What if he arrives? He's taking. He's taking his medicine for whatever. He's exposed to a tiny amount of alcohol he wasn't expecting, and very specifically asked for no alcohol. But regardless, was exposed to alcohol. Starts feeling dizzy. Starts making his way towards the bathroom. Falls. I mean, that's possible. On his way past, knocking over a glass of wine, this chair was just someone else standing up and being like, oh my God, and the chair falls over. We've solved the crime! But... Yeah. Um, it's also possible that the cousin not being not drinking any alcohol is just the babysitter of this case. It's true. You but know I, what? He might just be. He might just be really religious and can't drink any alcohol. I'm just saying alcohol. it's worthy of note that the person yeah. who was specific, we were specifically told, don't give them alcohol. They don't drink, and who specifically didn't take alcohol. And when we found pills on the scene, said do not mix these with alcohol, was the only one that ate the food that contains alcohol. Yes. Yeah. But I mean, the actual amount of alcohol the food contains just really depends on how it's cooked anyway. Well, it also depends on how much sensitivity to alcohol the medicine mm. represents. We simply don't know. But okay. But yeah, the body is kind of... People are saying the body is uh, kind of... Uh, would have fallen backwards the other way if he was going towards the bathroom. And, and he did hit his head like... I mean, it's possible he made it this far before he lost consciousness and fell backwards. Any sign of impact on the edge of the anything? Mm, no. I mean, it that looks look like it was an impact on the ground. Because that's wine on the yeah, table. Yeah, but that looks like that looks like that would be quite a soft edging. Like, there's squishy, a tile, absolutely. Yeah. But that looks like that's a squishy edging. Is there anything that he's hit his head against? Like Maybe any the sign chair. of an impact? I don't see anything that looks like it's a, the sign of an impact. And if you'd think he'd have hit his head here, he might have taken a bottle of wine with him. So nothing jumps out. Okay, let's keep let's keep looking for more evidence here. Let's keep looking for more evidence. Can't interact with any of this. This is all unremarkable. Doesn't seem to be important. The mixer, etc., etc. Very tidy kitchen. There's there's the box they bought. So yeah, they got the first two bottles of wine out of that. So yeah, it's forty six it's forty six dollars for six bottles of Fine. wine, which is an entire crate of wine, which is what I assumed it was going to be. So and is yeah. that what is that just a bunch of bread and a toaster? Yeah, yeah, that's just a bread next to a little kind of American style toaster. This will be the glass they did set out, but remembered last minute. Wait, Victor doesn't drink, so they pulled his thing back over there. Why well, then just let him have like you know water? Maybe maybe that that you know as it's a mug, it must be he must have asked for like coffee with his dinner. Mm. Say so he probably he probably asked for coffee with his dinner. So okay, we've got all that. Let's move into the living room area. Because there is clearly gifts that have been handed over here. Happy birthday. My daughter, your mom, loves you. Okay. Now, let's... Now, there was one female Carol. name, wasn't there? Now, that would suggest, as it was my daughter, no one would write their mom's name as Carol. 
suggesting this is Ronnie's handwriting. Yeah. Because you wouldn't write, you know, I, I would never write my mum's name as her name. I would always write mum. Yeah. And you would probably do the same. Yeah. So that would suggest that this this was written by Ronnie. And that's Ronnie's handwriting if we need to know that going forward. Meanwhile, this is different handwriting. So therefore, as we already knew, that's Jessica's handwriting. Yeah. So they're slightly different, aren't they? Are they? Actually, it might be a different... No, I, I don't think so. Look at the O-L in Carol. Look at the O-L in Carol and alcohol. They look quite similar. You know what? You're not wrong. I think it's just a different pen. Yeah. You're right. It's just it's just a different colour pen. So it's just that <laughs> this is... Yeah, so this is so th th this is Ronnie writing these here notes. Now, okay, speculation. We were talking mm -hmm. about who might have prepared the food and what that tells us about who's sitting where. Now, it strikes me as someone who writes post-it notes and puts them on the fridge is someone who maybe spends a bit of time in the kitchen. Otherwise, you maybe would have left the note okay, over here. Okay, look at the recipe, though. You want to check if it's the, the same. The recipe's not going to be... Look at the OL. That's the same font. Yeah. So that could be important or it could not be. So that could uh, suggest that, yeah, maybe I mean, Ronnie's the cook. Ronnie could be the chef. Okay, but we don't know that for certain. The point is, Carol is the mum of Jessica. Yeah. Okay, Carol's the mum of Jessica. And for some reason, my mouse cursor keeps coming out of the screen. It's very peculiar. Uh, okay, examine this. It's that time of year again. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jess. Thanks for all your support while I was in presumably Alcoholics Anonymous. So that's why he can't That's drink. why he can't drink. Ronnie is a lucky man to have you. Hope you have a great year. So, okay, we now know why Victor So, yeah, Victor, Victor is Jess's cousin then. Huh? Well, it was written as, remember, my cousin can't drink. Yeah. It'll definitely be Jessica who wrote it because... Yeah, If she's sure. the one who helped him through AA, she's not likely to forget. Yeah, sure. Okay, reasonable. Mm. So, put that down. And then we've got the presents. There was... Hang on. Happy birthday on the thing of chocolate to the most beautiful woman in the world. So that's from Ronnie, who bought her five quid chocolate. We don't know the five quid chocolates. We uh, do know, because the chocolate were five dollars in the... Uh, oh, in shit, the... you're right. I thought you were just being a dick. Okay. No. Jessica's in fact, birthday. I was yeah, being very generous, because five quid... Yeah. I mean, in all fairness, this Actually, is not... Okay, you know what? This does not necessarily mean that. This might just mean this is a lower socioeconomic no, family. No, that's the... the you're one. looking at the wrong one, but yeah. I mean, they also bought the cheap plonk as well as yeah. the chocolate. They may just be... I mean, we know from... This is the same building as that first case where we know Maybe the woman was low in on New money. City and everything's expensive. I think they might just be a not well-off family. They're not exactly mm. living in like... You know, this is... If you come in the front door and your dining room table is is right here, like, yeah, I mean, this is, this not is the just most... a normal. Is this just a normal flat? They're not like yeah, yeah. They could potentially not be hugely well off. That might just be all he can afford. You're being a dick, Claire. I I okay. mean, clear external sign of Christianity, maybe more common in America. Uh, we've got a south. Well, there's Christ, I assume. Or Christ, Matt. Christ and his boat, <laughs> and and his battleship. That, mm -hmm. That's Christ's battleship right over there. Do we can get out of these? Uh, the art of pottery. Various art and building to impress. Archaeology, etc. Okay. The shape of home, some interior design there. Okay. Finding your way around laws. Pfft, lol. Restaurant guides. No huge pattern. Various bits and pieces, to be honest. Mm. Okay. Nothing that jumps out massively. One book over here that's been left out. Okay. Is that set therapy? Its purpose? When it should be attended with the renowned therapist and former senator... Jackson, Jackson R. Gibson Gib from the Gibsons. Interesting. It's a VHS. Oh, just... oh bless! I feel so old. Is it a VHS? It says VHS at the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's the little clacky bit that was yeah. on the thing, wasn't it? They've that never got... closes properly. Yeah, so it's 2002, so we're right at the end of the VHS period here. Mainstream fiction. Yeah, we go. So, okay. We've also got... Oh, a half-open drawer. Hang on. I don't know why my mouse cursor keeps... Okay, so... Jessica Grayson. Yeah, so, okay, Jessica... so they are married. Jessica Grayson. 
Dear Jessica, it's been a month since you came to visit me. Remember what we talked about. I think it's time you end things with him. You've endured for too long and need to move on, Mom. Okay, so the mom's on your side. She thinks he's a dick too. Okay, well, I think the mom has more evidence than me. Okay, let's let's just start putting a few pieces together here. Based on the fact that, yes, clearly something has gone wrong and they are not happy. Does it not strike you as unusual that in the man's wallet there is the suggestion that he's maybe picked up a card related to the abortion clinic, suggesting maybe he Unless was trying to Unless maybe he had a mistress that he needed to have one. Possible, or he was trying to push her into it. Yeah, possible. I mean, is she is not... Either she's not pregnant now or does not necessarily wish to be pregnant now because everyone else was drinking. There's wine with everyone else. Yeah, so she's not, like, trying. Yeah. Or if she is, she didn't realise she was pregnant yet. Or maybe she was planning to terminate so didn't care she was drinking mm. or okay something to keep in mind and then po probably very importantly oh dear ronnie password the account is currently locked out and may not be logged on to so either he typed his password incorrectly or someone was trying to get into the laptop yeah, but we definitely don't have an option to... No. Uh, we just have back and read. But whatever was going on inside this laptop, it is locked. So as a result, someone... Mm. Like, it's possible. I mean, how many how many attempts would you have to like fail? Like maybe? Exactly. It seems unlikely. Unless Ronnie was absolutely wasted on cheap plonk. Cheap 40% plonk he drank too much of. But then again, you know what? I don't believe the evidence points towards someone who is massively a heavy drinker because... Uh, there is, he bought a six crate of wine for a dinner party. Four of those bottles are still present. And can we even see how much is... That one feels like that's not even... I mean, it's hard to say how much how much these yeah, are. Yeah, I mean, I see what you're saying, though. Like, If there, if we were supposed to be drawing from this, he was a rage, He got horrendously, embarrassingly drunk and humiliated everyone at the dinner party. There will be more bottles mm. of wine out than at two with true, four true, in the true, crate. True, 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 true. Unless we're supposed to believe these are empty, but I think that would be more clearly flagged. Yeah. So, okay. We need to start so, putting... So, wait a, a minute. Can we see anything more about those presents on the table? I don't think we can open the presents. Uh, all we've got is... Yeah, the message. Yeah. All we've got is the messages, the cards. So, let's just check we've not missed anything here. Like, say, any more half-open drawers or anything. Chessboard under there. But that is not particularly relevant. Anything, like, peeking out of the sofa. Anything on the window sills, etc., etc. And so, the medication that we've seen... Yeah. Uh, did we know? Like, did it say... No, it just... It didn't say, like, whose it was or whatever. We know that whoever died, they died because they took this. However, we have no evidence to... By the way, would you mind just moving your thing so I don't have the, the out-of-sync uh, stream in the corner of my eye, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, it doesn't, if, it's, if it's literally in sync, like up here, it doesn't really... Oh, hang on. What's going on with... What have I done over here? Mm -hmm. What have I done? Hang on. I've, I've clicked a thing. Hang on. Give me a second here. Studio mode. I don't want studio mode. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. I accidentally clicked a... Good. I'm glad it wasn't the stop streaming button. I clicked a button by no. mistake. And I'm very glad it wasn't. It was It was that. It was a, a relatively uh, un, unfussy button. Okay. The only way, the only piece of evidence that we've got to... Yeah, severe liver damage might be enough to kill a person anyway. Yeah. So the only... If this killed someone... And there's no evidence to suggest anyone else is taking Spazax anywhere. Then we must assume that it was mixed with alcohol. Whoever was... Unless... Okay. What's to... St okay, we need to find a motive. We need to find a motive. Motives that exist. Motives that exist, number one. The mum wants Ronnie got rid of. Yeah. Okay, the mom is... We are very explicit about how the mom is saying, look, get get rid of him. Yeah. But it feels like from the tone of the letter, like Jessica maybe isn't in the same position as the mom. Like, Jessica yeah. isn't in... Like, this is not the letter you write someone when Jessica also wants out. This is trying to 
persuade someone to yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sure, suggests sure, that sure, Jessica sure. is not killing Ronnie, mm. even if something's gone a bit wrong with their relationship. Yeah. So that suggests to me... Is it possible... Is it possible that Carol is the one who was murdered because of this letter, whether it be by Jessica or Ronnie? Entirely feasible. I mean, if it was opened up, Okay, let's 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 okay, let's figure out before we get into that speculation, let's start off going for let's actually know let's revisit the questions. How many people live in this apartment? We believe the answer is two. Yeah. Who was Jessica's cousin? That was did we Victor. Say that, did we say that was Victor. Yeah, but we don't have a surname. Okay. Now let's go and we could just we can come back to that. That, that, that stays filled in. Okay. So let's let's try and figure out the table seating order right now. So we are very confident this is Victor. Victor at number one. Mm. The other people are Jessica, Ronnie, Jessica's mother, and James. Yeah. Do we know who James is? Well, aside from that, James didn't appears to have not shown up. So let's reasonably assume, therefore, we can. We can rule out James from any involvement because he simply was not here. So his his relevance to the story is extraordinarily limited. It seems yeah. pretty clear he didn't show up. No drinking and no food, no anything. Like it's it's it would appear that. And yeah. it's the one place that's set the other way around. Although many people in the ch in the chat have said uh, that uh, that they are left-handed and and still set their places. The yeah. Right-handed way. Uh, people are saying check more on the calendar. Check, look at the calendar. Okay. Ronnie, so April Fool's Day is just written on the calendar. Oh, but you can go oh, to next month. There no, or preview. Oh, we could go way cocky back. Okay. Right. So we're going about two months back. Doctor's appointment, maybe pertaining to the abortion mm, centre, we don't yeah. know. Trip to LA, including mom's birthday. Possibility going to visit mom for mom's yeah, birthday. Yeah, because mom said in the letter, it's been a while since you visited. Yeah, so possibly went to LA. Mom maybe lives in LA, came to visit for her birthday. Eli's birthday party, 4pm. Eli does not ring a bell to me. Ronnie's day off. Ronnie's day off, unremarkable. Uh, into March. Victor is visiting 11.30am, so okay, we know who Victor is. Uh, concert starts at 5.30pm. Brunch with Victor. Dinner with Gabby. Call with Gerald. Call the bank. Reminder. Mm. So do we know what... Does, does Gerald showed up at all? No, I don't think so. I don't remember Gerald showing up at all. So that doesn't feel like yeah that that's good I didn't I didn't realize that I missed that there were multiple pages to that but okay hang on back to the table here we know that Victor and James are sitting at the end here this means that the three remaining places are Ronnie Ronnie's let's say wife yeah uh, they do and, have the same surnames so. yeah yeah Ronnie Ronnie's wife Jessica and Jessica's mother yeah now. Which, how would you orientate a couple and their mother? Because but putting the mother on the end of the table feels odd to me. I feels mean, like an odd yeah, thing. I if we've established know. it's possible Ronnie was the chef, putting Ronnie away from the kitchen feels like an odd thing to do. But we've only established that Ronnie was the chef because of like various things to do with their handwriting the handwriting. Font. But that doesn't Which could stack. just be a font they use. That doesn't stack because the same handwriting. You know that what? Let's check wrote. the hand let's check uh, look, there's multiple different Wait, are those That's different fonts font or is just font, or is it font size? That's just font size. Are these all They're the same? all the same. Uh the thing, John, is that various things like the The thing that said Carol, mm -hmm. where you yeah. said if it was Jessica writing it, she would have wrote Mum. Yeah. Um. Then, then my cousin. Yeah. They're in different. They're in the same font, but they were written by two different people. Because Jessica wrote the one that said my cousin. True. 
And true, then... true, true. Yeah, these notes were written were definitely written by two different people. Yeah, we've established. But the okay, so we can't use handwriting analysis. No, because to assist us on, I mean, also it's front. it's fake in general, but. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. So people are suggesting that Jessica would have been sat at the head of the table because she is uh, the birthday gal. It seems, yeah, that seems eminently reasonable. And then we've got, yes, then the mum and Ronnie. Yeah. Now there are different levels of wine left. One person not drinking so much, one person drinking either white or water. That looks white, like... that looks like white to me. Because somebody they're... brought some bubbly. Yeah, looks like is that champagne. Not that, that that doesn't look open, but it could be like prosecco or something. Champagne. That says dandelion dandelion champagne. It does, but it's also clearly not no, been yeah, opened. It's cool. Whether we're supposed to yeah. recognize that as a fact or not mm. is hard to say. It is a reason. It's a reasonable assumption that the birthday girl could be the head, but it's not compelling enough to start making assumptions. This is on. extremely circumstantial, and we don't have access to anything else. I wonder if we've. What are duck. we missing? Duck. duck! Duck! Is there something duck. else on the duck. top of the fridge duck. apart from the duck, John? Mm. Not that I can see. The current time is... Is that quarter past seven or 25 to... No, there must be quarter past seven based on the position of the seven. So it's quarter past seven. Mm. Suggesting, and it's still um, somewhat light out. Yes? Can you go back to the calendar and see if they had a uh, something planned for valentine's day good point good point because it did have that receipt oh dear she was away she was away at the exact time that yes interesting she was away at the time he definitely went to celine's kitchen and stayed having a meal now it's not impossible that on valentine's day when your partner's away you might decide to treat yourself to a meal out but it's weird and it's also he has a uh uh he has a card from an abortion clinic in his uh suggesting his other wallet. partner now okay yeah suggesting maybe another so partner. maybe it was in fact just goodbye earl what M maybe M maybe he was an abusive uh husband with uh with uh, an affair and uh and then the mum or the wife murdered him maybe the mum killed him to protect her daughter mm -hmm. now, yeah, we know what was in this envelope it was yes west pike auto yeah so but okay the, so there's the, no the, the, like letter inside yeah exactly i was just does the fact Do that the there is no letter open? matter no i don't think so i checked those earlier uh. drawers that are have stuff open in them in this game you're supposed to you you see them open you can have a poke around inside okay the best motive we've got so <laughs> far is the mum well unless because of the thing in here like if we just kind of go over to you like this is there's a couple of things starting to poke out of the thing here suggesting in particular yeah the the restaurant logo is starting to to poke out a little bit there suggesting maybe the the reason why it could have been jessica is if today was the day she found evidence that he went out for dinner on valentine's day when yeah. she was not here and the abortion clinic thing suggesting he'd be visiting an abortion clinic when she knew that it didn't pertain to her because she's definitely drinking. Well, can you open the the restaurant note again? Because people are saying it was only fifteen dollars. It wouldn't have been enough for two people. But that was the that was the oh the that valet. was the valet that, that was the valet parking. It, it wasn't for the meal. dinner. That was the valet parking. So he probably disposed of the the actual receipt. But he was handed on his way out to his car. The valet parking shoved it in a wallet. Yeah, didn't think about sense. it again. But he he did dispose of the other the other McGibbly jibble. Oh, yes. people are saying the thing on the ashtray that looks weird is like a letter being burnt on the plate. Who would burn a letter on a plate? Well, you know what? There is a candle right here. So if you want to set something on fire, if the candle was lit, then you could do it. But who would start a fire in an enclosed environment in this corner of I a room? I don't know. Ronnie doesn't seem very bright to me. Well. I was thinking, given it's right by the wallet, yeah. she might have burnt something having discovered it. Being angry, but surely you'd want to keep evidence if you were going to... Is there anything else we can interact with? Yeah, it just seems to have a lot less stuff to look at than the previous one, you know? 
Okay, that's just a weird rando, I think. Hang on, no, no. Oh, lipstick. Lipstick. Nice. Lipstick on the glass. And, oh, hang on. Well, we know someone was wearing lipstick. Like, could we match, like, if we could, how, how could you at matching colours? I mean, I'm good at matching colours, but... Yeah, roughly that colour right there. And that was, yeah, that was the, ah, uh, miss is that, is uh, that missing... Is that a matchbook from the, the restaurant? Yeah. Yeah. Did he take another woman to their restaurant as well? What a dick. Mm hmm Well, there is also a missing match when someone pointed out there's a sign that something might yeah. have been burnt over here. Whether that but, is... But, yeah, people are saying, is Carol the mum or is that just an assumption? That is 100% an assumption. Because everything that's been... No, that's just a thing that says mum. It's not signed Carol. But the only, the only woman present who wasn't Jessica is Carol. Yeah, but she could have sent something in the mail. Okay, you're not wrong. Theoretically, that's true. But this feels like these presents were opened. Uh, it does. It's straight. Like if it you would, if okay, look how tidy this apartment is in general. Would you tidy up your apartment this much for guests and then leave stuff sitting on the table? I mean, maybe a birthday card if it's a birth. I mean, you know. Let's let's do some speculation here. But she's, it might be Carol's. She, she's she's got a missing match in her thing. There is potentially she's discovered something. Fit of Rage burns it, goes over to his laptop, attempts to break into it using various passwords she thinks she might be able to intuit, it, can't do it, comes up with a more, comes up with a murder plan. Folks are also saying, what if the handbag belongs to Carol, the mother, and actually Ronnie cheated on Jessica with her mum, and that's why her mum wanted her to leave him. Holy shit, that's a good thing. That's, that's, that's a proper John theory. Except, hang on, then he would Oh, Margaret Willard, that's from her mother, and her mother's name is not Carol. That's a letter from her mother. Oh, in LA. Okay. Could Carol be the other woman? Could he have been smug enough to invite the other woman to Jessica's own birthday party? Is that and where then shit that's went the purse wrong? because the purse has the matchbook from the restaurant they went together. So this is Ca so Carol is not the mother, but that is Carol's purse. Okay, yeah. but in which case, what then is the significance of the missing match, if any? I mean, Do there might not be a significance because she is a smoker mm -hmm. who is trying to stop smoking, and so that might be why she's got. Can you look? Yeah, we've already looked what's in the Nico patch, huh? Yeah. Uh, unless there's anything like a secret extra bit to the uh, the patch, like we have to... But yeah, we looked at the back of it. And mm. nothing that you wouldn't expect on a normal... Yeah. Nothing to do with Spavax or whatnot. Yeah. It did literally say in the ingredients, nothing but the McGibbly jibble. Yeah, just nicotine. Just nicotine, nothing else. And also she works for the UC. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, also he can't have been, uh, he can't have been uh, cheating with the mom because uh, the mom, uh, because the mom was in fact in LA with her daughter during. Uh... Now we do have lipstick, but just because there's lipstick in Carol's purse doesn't mean she's the only person wearing lipstick. Yeah, that's true. That, uh, however, can we look at any of the other glasses and detect any other lipstick? Because, and also just because you have lipstick in your purse doesn't mean you're wearing lipstick at this exact moment in time. Though it no. does, though it does at least provide a sense. It's a connection, but it's whether it's strong enough. But Carol being at the head of the table. But you were saying, I mean, they would have might well have sat across from each other. Yeah, it's if that if Ronnie was sitting at four. Yeah, and then, I mean, why? What, what makes you think Ronnie at four as opposed to opposite four? What makes you think which way round this couple will go? But I, I think you're right. The lipstick is pointing towards Carol at the end here. These two are facing each other because that's a rational placement for a couple at a dinner party facing each other is a perfectly reasonable way to arrange that what what makes you think one or the other i mean one of the glasses is... i mean if i'm gonna be honest oh hang on there's a piece of evidence we've not seen here 
Is that just like a piece of like kitchen roll or napkin or something? That looks like it with some, what, some sauce on it or some wine? Could be blood in theory, but it mm, doesn't seem... That's too light. Seems too light, yes. Suggesting someone's done some mopping up of some description. Now, someone did spill wine earlier, but it doesn't seem likely that the wine was unrelated to the fall because if someone spills wine, you don't just mop up a tiny bit of it but then leave the cooking glass there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just check if any of these other items can be interacted with because I think this is just, yeah, the napkins. Oh, hang on. So maybe that indicates that the person sat there, had a plate of the red m meal. Yeah. And then... Why, why lipstick? Look at the lipstick again, people want us to. Look at the lipstick again. There's also a fork on the floor that we haven't, I don't think, seen. Pink lilac. Yeah. Water resistant, leaves no marks and no smears. Now, does that mean it can't be that? Does leaves no marks and no smears mean it wouldn't leave a mark on a glass? I mean, I'm assuming that's why they've put it in and that's a clue in this instance, but that is also... Just in general, something they put on lipstick that is not true. <laughs> you, you you can't trust that. No, we... I don't think you. I mean, I think in the game they've put it there so that you trust it. But I think in general. Did you say there was a fork on the floor? Yeah, people Where? were saying near the body. Nah, 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 nah. We cannot interact with it. Ah uh, well. Now, does that suggest... So it would be very odd if someone suddenly felt very peculiar and tried to get away. <laughs> get up with a Hang fork. on. Someone would not walk away with their fork. That would suggest that the person sitting at three okay. falls, falls over, pr collapses pretty instantaneously. Because if you are still holding the fork in your hands, and based on the positioning of the fork, we know it was this individual, this now points not towards my, my original theory of Victor over yeah. there, at this point, instead, to the more obvious solution of it's number three. Now, that would suggest that we believe number three is Carol. Now, Carol, the person with the motive to kill Carol is Jessica. If Jessica discovered and believed that Ronnie was having an affair with Carol. Yeah, but it could be... Carol could be wanting to kill Jessica for being married to Ronnie. She could be wanting to kill Ronnie for trying to break up with her. Ronnie could be trying to kill either of them to make his life easier. You know, you could, I mean... Okay. It's a triangle, this. Let's, or, let's speculate. Let's focus on one thing as well, though, which is in the event you're hosting a dinner party and the method you're going to murder someone is to put something into a wine glass It is, and the wine is all the, is back here in the kitchen... It's the hosts who are going to be stepping away and refilling the wine, potentially. True. Like, it would be rather odd for a guest to step into the kitchen during a dinner party to top up their own wine. That's something mm. you would expect the host to do, either Ronnie or Jessica. Yeah, this is interesting. Uh, I'm wondering why the stain on the napkin on seat four is red when the person ate the white stew and, add something, and had something else than, white, than red wine to drink. Very true. What would be any? What would be a reason? And yeah, once again, this has not been touched. I mean, could this be suggesting some kind of like flirtatious cross tasting of food? But then again, it's quite a big stain for a, a single mouthful. Or maybe it could be like because. Um, oh yeah. God! Please tell me we're not dealing with a scenario where people have maybe swapped places during the course of the meal. <laughs> no, surely not. Uh, mm, or. Like she, Jessica went to the bathroom. Carol and Ronnie smooched, and oh, in front of James and Victor. Oh yeah, Victor was there. I forgot. To <laughs> Victor. <laughs> Victor's just really fucking embarrassed by the whole situation. Uh, coughing blood. Coughing blood, like like all of a sudden it's a period drama and someone's got consumption. Well, if they have liver damage because of you know. Is, is that how liver damage works? I don't know. Um, but yes. I mean, can we look inside that pot with the flowers on it? Inside the pot with the flowers on it? No, nope, yeah, can't interact no. with that. But presumably, one would reasonably assume That's the it's whatever's coffee, in the mug. Yeah. It's someone they made uh, a little th a cafetiere of like 
tea or coffee or something mm. for the sake of serving to their one guest who wasn't. Was there just something interactable? What? Where? You were just moving around around here, and There's I thought one there was the you can look at you can look at the oh, bottle. Oh, one of the bottles. Oh, fair enough. I don't think there's anything else in the bottle that we've not seen before. Filling up a wine glass, not fill it up to the brim. Third fill. This is proper etiquette. All right. I mean, is it yeah. possible that it it is sufficiently strong wine that was intentionally purchased for the sake of making it stronger booze to have a stronger reaction to the drugs that they were planning to be used? Maybe. Let's go back over to the medicine because we don't really let's see. We don't know who was taking the medicine in the first place. Like, is there anything we can use to figure out who is I the likely candidate? Because so. it doesn't say what the medicine is for. Cool. Well, it's apparently for pain because you have to stop using it and ask a doctor if the pain gets worse or lasts more than 10 days. Is it possible we could be supposed to assume based on the mention of various abortion clinics this could have been a pain relief given after an abort? Does Do abortion procedures leave a person in pain? I mean, I'm I assuming it's going to depend on the procedure now. Like, like the only, like the not only, to get the graphic, only... but it depends if it's done by having okay. yeah, a the pill point, the point, yeah, surgery. Or... The only med, the only mention of anything medical elsewhere in this is well, you know what? Hang on, there is the even though we don't know precisely what it is, we do know there's an there is an appointment with, with Doctor Richardson. Now, if Doctor Richardson is maybe the source of the drugs, which is possible, then that would suggest if the appointment is Dr. Richardson, that would mean the person who has the drugs is either Ronnie or Jessica. But also, doesn't that look too no, like this? No, it's coming? Jessica. Ronnie's away. Oh, that's Jessica's appointment. Yeah, okay, so that's Jessica's medicine. And, yeah, okay, yeah. well, we can't be certain of that, but it seems very likely, doesn't it? It seems very likely this is Jessica's oh, medicine. okay. Hey, John. Yeah. So, um... The the shape on the floor. Yeah. The blood is near the mouth. The blood is near the head. It might not be hitting the head. Yeah. You know, because as you said, it's on a on a strip of soft thing. Yeah. It might just be someone hurling up a bit of blood. That feels like it's weird that it wouldn't happen till they would already hit the ground. Cause it's a very small splatter. It's a pretty I mean, damn small. It's a small splatter, isn't it? Like I feel like if you've got, if you've got up violently enough that your chair's fallen back like that and you end up on the floor, you are not like holding it in that perfectly until your head's literally already on the ground. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. But apparently, yes, pain pain relievers are very common for both medical, m m medicine induced and surgery induced abortions. Okay, let's let's work under. Okay, so there's two scenarios here. Either Doctor Richardson's appointment, which was definitely Jessica's, could have been to get her that medicine. Option number two, the abortion that he arranged for Carol, could have been related to that. And is it possible? That actually, he when he was, you know, if he, his company trip, he was actually seeing Carol. I mean, that's entirely possible. But also, the question is... What was our evidence for even suggesting that he and Carol are together? Uh, he went to the restaurant on Valentine's Day when Jessica was out of town. And then Carol's purse had the matchbook from the restaurant. It's, it's a tiny bit flimsy, but sure. Uh, everything is circumstantial here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, just the matchbook. I mean, hang on. Do we have the... Da, 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 da. Their address is... Okay, 608 High Crest Street. Because if it literally is just around the corner, that makes it much less suspicious. 99 Funnel Road. Uh, do we know how New York... Do we know how I mean, area codes in America necess... work? I don't, but also it has valet parking... Yeah. It's nice. It's fancy. There's valet parking. Yeah. And if it's it was an... around the corner, you think it's I mean, nice even in America, if driven. it was around the corner, they wouldn't have Oh, driven. no. In America, they would drive. Even yeah, if it was but it's the New York City. It's New York City. Are you going to drive in New York City if you can absolutely avoid it? Oh, hang on. 
I just noticed. Uh -huh. There's a credit card number written here, and we know his credit card. So 0812. Yeah. 0812. Is there any chance we can verify him using a fake card at some point? No mm. credit card is, min is mentioned there. And is there anything on here that tells us anything about him? What is e none and r none on a on an ID card? Well, it's not. If, I think if it, it would only be relevant, if it was included here. Yeah. So this is his permanent residence. Nothing particularly noteworthy, is it? I don't see anything there that I look at and think, yes, that's that that that's that's the smoking cocky gun. If the poison was in the wine, it looks like there's actually only two people drinking red wine and one of the wine glasses is still full, which would explain why they felt the need to clarify that a third full wine glass is completely full. That's true, but I don't think we would have ever reasonably assumed that the person sitting at place number two was the person who would, who had the poison in the wine. Unless we're dealing with, like, you know, that classic dumb resolution where multiple people were trying to kill each other with multiple methods simultaneously no, but, but only one person succeeded the person at spot two yeah poured themselves a glass and also a glass for the person at three going like entirely unsuspicious over here just pouring a bunch of red wine completely safe because i'm gonna drink it too waits for the first person that they want to murder to drink it and then don't drink their own well that puts jessica at two and uh, Ronnie at four. Jessica might want to kill Carol just because she found out about the affair. But if Ronnie was trying to off Carol, he wouldn't do it here. Oh, this, would, this would be the dumbest place to do it. Incredibly public. Mm. That This screams more like, yeah, a, a more sudden unplanned crime of passion of some description. Mm. That, put, that puts Jessica at two, Carol at three, Ronnie at four. I mean, I'm going to say earlier, the only reason I thought Jessica was sat at two, and I will absolutely say that was my bias there, yeah. is I'm like, Ronnie, you know, this is a heterosexual couple, uh, well, or this is a couple who are in a heteronormative relationship. Yeah. He is a shit, according to her mum, and he has an affair. So I'm just generally assuming he's being a dick and doesn't want to cook at his own house. I mean, we do have the slight um unpack. We do have the slight unpacking thing going on here, which is okay. We know, for example, he's into boats because a little ship is his icon on the computer. And what's all the decor in the apartment? Boats, boats, boats. Giant boat, boat, boat. Where's the other decor? Now, are we supposed to maybe believe that the crucifix might indicate someone having opinions one way or the other on the topic of abortion? I mean, yeah, that's very. And pff, I keep, I don't know why, my mouse is not locked in the thing and, and it's very annoying. Uh, okay. So we know the mum's not present. So the mum's, the mum's not here, the mum's not doing it. Yeah. That's fine. So that's, that's, that's all as it should be. Yeah, or opinions on divorce. True. That's a good point. True, true, true. Okay. I mean, you know, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Like, it, if you're wanting death to do you part. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Reasonable. Okay, clap. Yeah. We've got all the evidence. It's time for <laughs> us. To sit the exam. It's time for us to sit the exam. I believe it is Ronnie that's sitting in, in, chair, in chair number four, Jessica at two. So you believe Jessica killed the... Um, Jessica takes out Carol. Jessica takes out Carol. I believe Jessica takes out Carol. Mm. So let's, let's... We need to make sure we've got some proper full names here. Some proper full names. So let's make sure we've got our... Oh, I've got the names. Oh, you've got the full, the full correct spelt names? Do we know what Carol's surname oh, is? Oh, no, we don't. We don't have Carol's surname. Is there any way we could find that out? I don't believe so. We've seen all the evidence. I believe so. I just double check. There's nothing else we can do here. That's the same. That uh, yeah, that's the mom. No, that's that's him. Okay, the cheap chocolates. Okay, if we've got okay, so who chatted and chatted for? That's Ronnie Grayson. Ronnie Grayson, spelt like that. Yes. Okay, who was killed? We believe it is Carol. 
We don't have a surname. Carol's relationship is, we simply don't know. Friend? Just friend. And who's the killer? Mm, uh, well, we believe, yeah. We believe it is Jessica. Is she also Grayson? Yeah. Okay, we're going we're gonna to say. We're going to say. This is, I brought Claire with me. Because I think it is kind of possible for this, in this scenario, yeah. for... To Other people just think Carol could have killed Jessica for Ronnie. Yeah, but also, if I was Jessica, would I want to kill Ronnie or Carol? Because mm. I think if I was Jessica, I'd want to kill Ronnie. Mm -hmm. In that circumstance, you know. Especially given you're saying the clue, uh -huh. the strong clue of it being uh, someone being quite Christian in that house. Let's let's give it a go. Submit. You can't just reload and then re-enter the answer. I, Literally, I save that. the answers. Three out of five correct. Oh, do we know which? No, it doesn't tell you. It doesn't but tell I, you. I think maybe Jessica poisoned Ronnie. You want to try it that way around yeah, and see which on, way around go it goes? Go okay. So we just we simply go back into the fourth floor, back into the dinner party. So we got three out of five there. Let's see if we can be. Let's see if we can at least determine which we think are our three that we definitely got right. Well, I think we definitely got Victor right. So I think it saves the yeah it saves that. So two is definitely correct. Yeah. Victor's definitely correct. So that would suggest Ronnie in four is correct, but you think the the, the no the... that would suggest one of those three is correct. It could be Jessica in. But if you think the killer and killed, oh no! If we think you, no. you still think it was Jessica that was killed, you just think it was. No, 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 John. We... Just let let just calm down for a second. Bah! <laughs> there you go. This is why you went at Wordle all the time. I don't have the patience. Uh, okay. So who sat in chair number four? I mean, still Ronnie. There's no reason to change that. Cause we know. I if, think if Jessica have... still did the murder. If we change these two rounds. Yeah, change who was killed to Ronnie, and who sat in chair number four to Carol. Wait, that's what you think? Yeah. So who, who, who do you think is in four? Carol. Carol. And I think Jessica did the murder. Because she wanted to, like, leave him. I don't think she did. The letter The letter from the mum suggested she wasn't ready to leave him yet. The letter mm. from the mum strongly suggested she was not... I do not think Jessica killed Ronnie. I think, if anything... Oh, that's really interesting. People are saying that... I think this is wrong. People are saying that the napkin stain says that the person sitting in number four was wearing lipstick because you would wipe your mouth after eating something and it would leave lipstick on there. Even napkin. if nothing else they... And that's why there was something and that's why this person drinking white wine... What if we think it was white wine? We're really unclear on that point or whether it was just a slightly weirdly rendered tiny bit of red. No, I think it was white. I think it doesn't look the same at all. Okay. Okay, okay. submit that. In we go, in we go. What? Submit that and let's see if I was right. No, that's right. Look. No, that's because you're looking at it from. Go back up. I think it's just. I think it's just rendering weirdly from this angle. If you look at it from the side, it looks identical to the other red on the table. Yeah, but if you look at it from the top, it doesn't. It's red because the only bottle that was open is red. The the, the champagne was never opened. It's the mm. only bottle that's opened. It's red. I think the person here drank red wine. This person drank more yeah, than this person. Yeah, but if. Okay, back up. Yeah. If Jessica is sitting at number two, Carol sitting at number four, Ronnie sitting at number three, because yeah. he's a bit of old fashioned and yeah. he thinks it's okay to, you know, cheat on his girlfriend and be a crap and he wants to sit at the head of the table. I'm sorry, but this cannot no. be white wine. Okay, listen to me. Never. <laughs> Go back up so that we can see properly the places. Yeah. Okay. Jessica is sitting at number two because she's going in the kitchen. She's preparing the meal. She was given medication by Dr. Richardson for yep. a thing. It said, don't drink it with alcohol. And she was like, oh, no, I won't. But I will put it in the glass of my shit husband because that way he'll die and I'll be free. And then um, and then Carol is indeed drinking red wine and wiped her mouth. And that's how we know she sat there because there's lipstick. I mean, it works. I think you are wrong because I think it contradicts it the letter. Put it in. You're wrong, but okay. You think this is what the answer is? Yes, I do. You're wrong. This is going to be wrong. 
It's going to be wall wrong. Oh, oh, fuck! dear! Oh, dear! Okay. Claire fucked it up. Time for Operation John to get it right. All right, all Time right, for John enough. to get it right. Fair enough, fair you enough. Just you, just you just got it more wrong. You just got it more wrong. You just got it more... Okay, I'm a bit colorblind to the color red. That's true. Just because I, I'm struggling <laughs> to see certain shades of red doesn't mean I'm bad at identifying red white. That, that's unfair. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, fiddly diddly day. Yes, people are saying that what Carol Carol was actually that they think that glass was water because Carol was pregnant. But I think that's clearly a wine glass and yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry, okay, that's not water. Want, people want you to investigate more the burned up letter in the ashtray. There's nothing we can do with the burned up letter in the ashtray. Is, is there the not? The only thing I can do is zoom in, but I can't interact with it in any way. Mm. There is no way to interact with it. Like, the, you might assume the only thing that where it would logically come from would be inside this. But this is, like, from West Pike Auto. Unless this was, like, somewhat, like, Carol sent him fake letters using that to allay suspicion or I mean, something. I, and there's nothing in there. No, there's nothing in there. It's it's empty. There's, you can't you can't. Maybe Carol it. works there. I mean, there's no way we, we don't know that. No. Absolutely nothing that points at that whatsoever. What about the hat? The, the, you can't you can't interact with the hat. There is no way to interact with the hat. I mean, we see we see this guy. Yeah, this guy's maybe thinking about. Oh, it doesn't. It, does, it doesn't about say like divorce? it doesn't say divorce settlements or anything or anything no, of that but nature. It doesn't necessarily have to say on it. He could just indeed be like wanting to. Anyway, we've got to go figure out. Okay, so let's have a look at it. And no, let's no, no. It's out... time for me to put my wacky yeah, theory. Let's into figure place. out which question it is that I got more wrong. This, this is Ronnie Grayson. This was right the first time. This yeah. was correct the first time. What actually happened? What actually happened was that. Wait, what did we say the very first time? What was our original theory? That was the original theory that Jessica killed Carol. That Jessica killed... Wait, that Jessica... No, I can't remember. Did we say that Jessica killed Carol? Wait a minute, let me see if I can go back. <laughs> what did we say was the first? <laughs> what was our first thing? I mean, I do not... I absolutely did... I absolutely knew you were wrong saying that Jessica killed yeah, Ronnie. Because Jessica, yeah, was yeah. Not re Jessica was not ready to do that. Jessica was not ready so to do we that. we said Carol was killed and Jessica killed her. So and it could be Ronnie the... was in chair number four. I still think Ronnie's in chair number four. I still so think maybe Ronnie's Carol in chair killed Jessica instead. Yeah. So Carol killed Jessica instead. Let's let's try. Eventually, if we try every possible permutation, yeah, we can brute force this if we, shit. If we, if we, we're gonna brute force this, unless of course it's it's angry. It's angry because we haven't got the surnames down. <laughs> we actually got it completely right, but. Hey! Hey! So hang on, who killed who again? Carol <laughs> killed Jessica. Carol killed Jessica. On her birthday, that's fucking cool. Hang on, back into the room. Now we know that's the Please answer. Sir. Let's try and figure Please. out how he was supposed to know that Carol Please killed sir. Jessica. Uh complete. Good luck. Apparently, something in the ID means that Ronnie is not li licensed to drive. Okay. So Carol kills Jessica. We reasonably assume Jessica is sitting at place number three. How would, I mean, are we supposed to assume that Carol got the abortion as a result of the I, thing I'm and as a result confused. she had the painkillers? I'm very confused. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Just checking that we weren't supposed to be examining the fire to take the, the fire alarm. And it turns out to be no. I have, okay. Okay, so okay, let's 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 just say we failed at that crime. Yeah, we did. Let's fail just say at that we crime. failed at that crime <laughs> and we move on to a different crime that we don't Okay, so so far, hang on. I got the first crime I did, I got it wrong first time. Now we've done a crime together. So far we failed to solve a single crime. Yeah. Okay, let's move on <laughs> to the celebration and see if we can not fail at Yay, a crime. Let's not fail at a crime. We're doing the celebration. We're going to not fail at this crime. We're back in the same hallway. Seriously, it's been a... It's been a this, people should not live on this floor. It's a bad floor to live on. 
Well, we've completely failed. The, yeah, but the, if the I'm crime. looking for a house and they're telling me like, look, yeah. this is this this is the police. Okay, is the it's homicide. June the first, two thousand and three, mid afternoon, and we have a new piece of evidence. Oh shit, we've got oh cock Claire, we've got <gasps> in, we've got interviews. No. Nice. Oh shit, we've got what looks like. Oh wow, that's a lot of people. Chris, Jack, Lisa, Andrew, Grace, and Eric. Okay, what are the questions? You want to start with the questions. Who died? Who was the second last to arrive? Who owns the blue sports bag? Who is the killer? Interesting. Was it who died in the previous one? Or was it who was killed or who was murdered? Was the wording the same? I don't know, but it does say who's the killer. Uh, this one says who was killed. Uh, but Maybe more than one person no, died. No, that, that'd be the oh, plus. That would that'd be, be the plus, plus yeah, yeah, if that was that, because that's what's happened before. So, okay, let's, um, before we jump into that, let's just have a little look-see what we're dealing with here, just so we have a vague understanding yeah. of the context. So, okay, there has been a celebration in here. Just check if any of this, like, opens. Okay, on this occasion, no trespassing, girls only, no boys allowed. We have got, okay, we've got much more space to work with. So we've got a, yes, we've got the girls only, no boys allowed room. One room. We've got this room. Where where someone got murdered. Someone got quite violently murdered. There's, oh, there's someone died, fa if we want to go with fair, the... fair whack of blood going on. Okay, fair whack of blood going on. We've got keys and whatnot that we might be to investigate. Then we've got the main room where some form of partying was occurring. Based on this, yeah, there's clearly been a whole bunch of uh, pizza eating and beer drinking and whatnot. Okay. Do you want to start by looking around or do you want to start with a testimony so we have an idea who we're dealing with? Um, Maybe just uh, start, read the testimony real quick. Let's see what the testimony see. is like. This is Okay, it's not too long. So this is, this is all happening on June the 1st. So this is, okay, whatever happened here... It was, yes, it, it looks like this maybe happened last night. So, okay, we've got number one, Kirsty. Christy. Off. Good start. Number one, Kirsty. Uh, Miss Carter, can you please answer my question? I'm sorry, what was the question again? Okay, for some reason, uh, Christy kind of spaced out a bit during the interview. Because someone died, and it's a shock. Yeah, but she doesn't know that till later in the interview. Yeah. So she doesn't know someone's died. Oh, some... so maybe she's just real drunk. Possibly. What was the question again? Did you go and see Brian on the 31st of May? Suggesting it's the 1st of June today. This may have happened late night on the 31st of May. Potentially. Uh, Christy, no. You did not go and see Brian. Did you have any physical contacts at all during this week? No. When was the last time you met or spoke with Brian? Maybe a week and a half ago. Are you aware that Brian Olsen is dead? He was killed last night in his apartment. Where were you the night of the 31st of May? I dot dot dot. I was at home. Okay, we now know the apartment belongs to Mr. Brian Olsen. Because the officer says that and no one contradicts it. Yeah. So this appointment... Or like he is one of the people renting there, yeah. Yes, this is okay. He is he is a resident. So in the, wait a minute. Can you go to the next page? And make sure. Is it yeah? The next interview. Subject, that's the next, that makes that's sense. That's the next yeah. interview. So let's know about. That. Let's go. We'll go back to that in just a second. So okay, logically, at least two people live here. Yeah. This is going to be Brian's room because the other room literally has a girls only, no boys allowed, unless it was a very weird joke, on yeah. on their part. But this reads as Brian's room to me. We yeah. may reasonably assume, unless we say otherwise, that this is Brian's room and this is Brian who has died. Except one of the questions is who died? Yeah. Twin brother or something? Could there be some confusion about maybe, identical maybe, twins? Maybe, maybe, I mean, we, if the first testimony says Brian's been killed and one of the questions is who actually died, that's it. Oh, hello. There's keys. Why do I keep pushing the wrong thing? No. <laughs> the game may have just crashed. No, it hasn't. We're fine. Front door spare. So a spare set of keys. But yeah, there's the front door and two more keys. But here's the thing. It looks like he's got his key already inside. Yeah, because that's a spare. 
suggesting someone... And the spare would have what key was actually in the lock of the door. Well, presumably the key to open this door, which is matching yeah, this key. Yeah, but it's colour-coded, and that's a, what, the dark blue or whatever. I mean... Because, you know, those two keys are the two genders of the room. Dark blue and only girls, no boys allowed. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. So, so someone had a spare... Someone used a spare set of keys to open the door in order to kill him, possibly. And speaking of which... Hello, gun casing. Ah, uh, yes, we've learned that it was not a bullet, it was a casing. Yeah, it's a 9mm Wilder, but this has not been fired. This is not... Wait, can you uh, go back to the interview? Someone was saying Brian was one of the people interviewed. Yeah, so that's... But Brian's the guy who died. Unless they're... Because just... it's just... It's just... No, he wasn't. No, he you, wasn't. You they're wrong. wrong. Okay, cool. Okay, let's move over to number two. So let's figure out... Let's go through the girls' names because... Let's figure, out, let's figure out who the other person who lives here is. So we're pretty confident it's a girl. So let's say to Lisa. So, okay. I am one of the tenants of the apartment. How close are you to your brother? Close enough. We don't talk about deep things or anything. He mostly keeps to himself. Are you aware of the allegations towards him? What allegations? Let's change the topic. Out of all the attendees, has any of them shown any violent behaviours or tendencies? Not really. Though Andrew has been suspended a few times for getting into fights. Can you recall the last time we got into a fight? Last week, actually, he and the other guy were fighting over a girl. You don't think the guy? You don't think he actually did it? And you usually lock the door for your room. Yes, I like to keep my room private. Brian sometimes has friends over, so I lock it uh, any time I have to head out. You said you lost your key. I was coming back from a friend's house. I must have accidentally left it there. What time do you leave your friend's house? 6.30pm. How did you get into the apartment? It was already open. Most of them were already inside. Brian must have let them in. When did you arrive? 7. Do you have a spare key? Yes, we keep a spare key on the kitchen wall. But it was missing. Someone must have taken it. Can you recall exactly when you noticed the spare key went missing? I checked as soon as I came back. It was already gone. How did you get into your room? Brian used his key set to let me in. So, okay, both Brian and Lisa can open each other's doors. Yeah, so because the key that he had hanging on his wall was just a single key with, like, the collar cap of his room. Yeah. I'm assuming he just has a set of every key, but he doesn't keep them all in the yes. same spot or whatever. If Brian has a key, to, unless, of course, she is lying. Anyone could yeah, be lying. Course. But okay. Do you often have parties at your apartment? Yes, for special occasions. Sometimes just to hang on the weekend. Is there alcohol involved? Yes, Andrew usually buys the drinks for us. Could you repeat what you told us? I was asleep. I woke up. It was dark. I went to the restroom. And that's when I saw him lying there in his room. I didn't know what to do. Then what happened? I panicked and screamed. Andrew came running by, gave me a panic attack. Do you have any suspicion as to who his murderer could be? I don't know. I don't understand how this could happen. We were all really good friends. Let's just check if spatially that makes sense. If she goes to the bathroom, she could see a foot. Yeah. Yeah, she could see it. Yeah, going into the bathroom or coming back out of the bathroom, that stacks yeah. up. Because if it, spatially it didn't stack up, that would yeah, be suspicious. Yeah, that would be suspicious for So sure. we have now got Brian and Lisa, brother yeah. and sister, sharing an apartment. Maybe they're wait, both... Wait, wait, We don't know that they're necessarily brother and sister, though, <laughs> because he talked about her brother, but he could have been Andrew. Yeah. We don't talk about deep things. He mostly keeps to himself. Okay, allegations. you're right. We don't know that the brother is Andrew. Fair enough. <laughs> or, or or Brian. But I mean, I, I see your point. It could be very... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see the other interviews because maybe somebody talks about Lisa and mentions her surname. Do we have an Andrew in the... Uh, in the, in the I think we do. Legible. Let's just skip to mm -hmm. Andrew. Here we go. So let's just move over to Andrew at this point. So, can you please account when you and the others arrived at the apartment? I arrived at the apartment around the same time as Lisa. Everyone was already there. I don't know when the others arrived. What happened after? I don't know. I thought you have all the answers. It's after midnight. I'm tired as hell. I've got to go soon. What happened after? I was in the toilet puking for a bit. And then I woke up Eric. Where was Jack during this time? I don't know. None of us saw him for the rest of the night. You were the one who brought the drinks to the party. You're not old enough to drink. How did you purchase them? 
did you contaminate the drinks in any capacity? Did not contaminate the drinks. I, you do know that Andre's drinking or purchase of alcohol is a misdemeanor. Really, that's all you got. I thought you guys were trying to solve a murder. Get serious. This is a complete waste of time. None of my friends did what you're suggesting. I mean, okay, he sounds like a little shit, but that does not sound like a master. Let's just go back to know. Lisa for a second. So hang on. What was she saying at the end there? So, but, but right at the end about uh, Andrew, I was asleep. I woke up. It's dark, so it's it's quite late. Yeah. I went to the restroom, saw him, panicked and screamed. Andrew came running by, not running to, running by. I'm not sure what that means. Let's let's just space out the apartment here for a second. She's in this room at the end. She wakes up. It's dark. She comes out here. She goes in here. She presumably sits down, being as she is, a girl. Yeah. She gets back up again later. Presumably the door was closed while she was in the bathroom. She comes back up. She sees this. She screams. Andrew comes running by. Now, what does that mean? Because if he was running in this direction and he runs past this room, he's not going into her room. Was he in her room previously as Andrew was Andrew, Andrew and her sleeping and he runs... He runs out? Was he in the room at the same time but didn't know? Mm. Was he unconscious drunk and he, he runs out of the room? Running by, where know. does Andrew run to or from? Andrew running by is a really weird situation. Yeah, I don't... I can't interpret the significance of that particular choice of word, I think, as instinctively as you. Yeah. Like, that did not strike me as super weird. All right, let's go over to Jack. So, you're also in the band. I play bass, I play guitar, I usually end up playing the bass. How do you describe your relationship with Brian? So, he's more of Eric's friend than mine. Eric and I have known each other since elementary, have been tight since. Eric introduced me to Brian in high school. We started playing together. Can you go over your account of the incident? I was working most of the day, eventually left, headed to Brian's place. I bumped into Grace at the lobby. We went up together. 6.45... Grace and uh, uh, Grace and Jack are supposed to have arrived. So, do you recall seeing anyone before entering the apartment, uh, other than some guy at the front desk? Uh, other, all of us had something to drink, so some things might be unclear. I do remember Grace was being pretty obnoxious the whole night. After I finished my drink, I left. When did you leave? As I mentioned, the other officer, Brian was smoking heavily. I can't stand the smell of it. Where'd you go? I went back home. Anyone with you at the time? Anyone who could corroborate this? No, not even the man at the front desk. Look, this is getting annoying. I didn't do anything. You've got nothing on me. Just let me go. Now, that's a little bit suspicious. Mm. That he wouldn't be able to say, yeah, he, he must have seen me. Suggesting Jack can maybe didn't leave when he said he did. Otherwise, yeah. why would he have just said, yeah, he must have seen me? Um, so, okay. We've done Jack uh, and then. So, move on to... Right, Grace, who he was supposed to go up with... Uh, was supposed to go up with... She went up Jack. with Jack, yeah. Yeah, at 6.45, according to his testimony. So, your relationship with Brian. He and I have been dating for about a year. Things are going well. So, uh, Christy is one... Wow! Fucking tossing Christy under the bus here. Uh, that lying bitch has been trying to get between Brian and I ever since we got together. She can't stomach that he chose me and not her. I'm telling you, that girl is batshit psycho. Please calm down. I mean, that, 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 <laughs> please calm down, Mr. Burns. <laughs> I know you were saying. Please calm that. down, Mr. Burns. No, Smithers. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Brian is dead. Excellent. Smithers have Brian killed. <laughs> please don't tell me to calm down. That girl should be behind bars. Answer the question. I arrived at the apartment same time as Jack. Fine. They corroborate each other's arrival. We got the elevator just so I'd see Christy leave the apartment and run off. Wait, wait a second. Okay. Uh... Christy runs off at about 6.45 according to Grace, though Jack did not mention that fact. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Burns, please focus. <laughs> Are you sure you saw Miss Carter leave the apartment? 100% she's the only girl in the world that has dyed green hair and braids her hair like that. Continue. After Andrew came with the drink. So that happened after. Andrew arrives later than Jack and Grace. Yeah. We start playing a drinking game. This went on, this goes on most of the night. I eventually... And I eventually knocked out. Unusual phrasing. Possibly meaning I, I eventually fell unconscious. Presumably. Yeah, or I like, yeah. you know, I knocked out as in I conked out. 
sleeping, but yeah. with the alcohol. Can you recall if anyone passed out before you did? I can't. I completely blacked out. I must have drunk a bit too much because the cops already arrived. The speculation, Andrew, could have potentially put something in the drinks. Yeah. Okay. So Brian was home first. Then Christy arrives. We don't know when. Yeah. Then And Christy seems Jack, talking out of it in her interview. Jack and Grace arrive. Hang on, just, just to confirm, by the way, just mm. on, on what you're saying. Don't forget, Christy denied seeing Brian at all the day in question. Oh, yeah, okay. Christ, according to Christy's testimony, she declares, yes, I was at home. I did not have any contact with Brian on this day. However... According to, yes. Uh, Wait, so she says she wasn't even at the party. She says she wasn't even at the party. However, Grace says that she saw her leave. But Grace also said she was arriving simultaneously to Jack, and Jack did not mention this detail, which feels very odd. Because mm. Jack's testimony is very clear. He's, he's actually very articulate. He goes into a lot of detail. He's, he seems quite cooperative. It seems... And I also, also... Hang on, no, no, just... And also, very crucially, the officer specifically says, do you recall seeing anybody right before entering the apartment? And Jack says, no. Yeah. So, th it, I feel like someone's lying out of Christy and... Uh, Christy and... Uh, Grace. And there's something weird going on there. So, we need to find... If there's evidence Christy was present in the apartment, then that will be interesting. In Sorry, I'm just evidence. trying to build a timeline. Yeah. Jack does say he met Grace, but he doesn't say he saw Christy. And Jack's is otherwise probably the single most cooperative detailed testimony. And, um... Sorry, Lisa, who lost her keys... <laughs> yeah. Did she say she arrived before Andrew or after him? Da, 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 da. Okay, she's just talking about the fight first up. And... What time did you leave your friend's house? Okay, she arrived about seven. Most yeah. of them were already inside suggesting that is late but she doesn't specify whether that's before or after andrew who we also know arrived yeah. relatively late okay and then yeah brian at that point opens the door she basically seems just to have gone to sleep so i was asleep i woke up yeah she doesn't whether she even got involved in this party is somewhat when the unclear. Drinking game, yeah. It's unclear. Like clearly Andrew has in the past bought drinks for them to all have. Andrew presumably has a fake ID. We'll probably find that at some point. Andrew said that he had bought drink that day. Yeah. So but whether she partook of those drinks on this occasion, we don't know. Okay. Final bit of testimony. Eric. Can you please account when you and the others arrived at the apartment? Let's see if this is uh, makes sense. I know I was the fourth to arrive. Brian, Grace, and Jack are already there. So that puts him maybe about 650. Yeah, yeah, Give or yeah. take. I must have missed something because Grace's attitude was off the entire time. That's not the first time someone's mentioned that. Maybe Grace and Brian had a fight. I have no idea. I was super glad when Lisa arrived. She always lightens, lightens the mood. So Lisa arrives after that point. I think Andrew was the last to come. He's always late for everything. But that's not certain. Okay. Were you drinking that night? We all were. Grace usually doesn't drink that much, but she was choking as if there was no tomorrow. Because she was angry about what she thought she saw. It could just have been another girl with braided green hair. It's not actually that weird. It's in New York City. Braided green hair feels quite distinctive. It's New York City. It's not like she's the only girl in the it's, entire city. Yes, New York City. It's not cooking Mars. Okay, fine. Anything of note to the night? I'm not how drunk I was. I do remember Jack and Brian arguing. Things got heated. Brian eventually got up and locked himself in his room. And obviously someone at some point opened the room with the spare keys. Well, that could have been 911. We don't know. Mm. You were the one who called 911, correct? Mm. But the key was missing from its spot when Lisa came in. Yep, true. So, yeah. So you were the one who called 911. Eric calls 911. Says here in the report, you discovered the body and called law enforcement after two hours. Why? You discovered the body? Yeah, Lisa said she Sounds did. Sounds to me like Lisa discovered the body, but okay. Well, maybe Andrew rocks up when Lisa screams and goes oh, like, no, Oh, hang no, no. on. Shit's getting real here. Why did you call law enforcement after two hours? Why did it take you so long to call law enforcement? 
Andrew was against it. Why do you not want to call the cops? Something about underage drinking, him getting into more trouble. Look, he's a bit dumb at time, but tr he's a little bit dumb, but trust me, he didn't do this. Error might stop stops working. Skip forward a little bit. Maybe that just means, hey, skip forward in the testimony. What part of I don't remember much, you not understand? Calm down. We just want to clarify certain details. Like I said, I was drinking heavily that night. I must have passed out. Next moment, I remember, was Andrew waking me up by pouring water on my face. Lisa tells me you had a pretty big argument with Brian that night. Want to tell me about that? You guys are reaching. He was onto my case about interrupting rehearsals with my mistakes. I've been busy recently. I haven't had much time to practice. Come on, there's no way I'll kill him over something like that. I have my pride as a musician. I was going to show him up with my performance. Okay, so what do we think the current order of arrivals is? The current order of arrival is, is Brian is at home. Yeah. Christy may or may not have shown up at all. Yeah. Jack and Grace arrive at uh, 6.45 at the same time. Yeah. Whereupon Grace says that Christy left, but Jack doesn't mention it at all. Yeah. Eric arrives between 6.45 and 7. Lisa arrives at 7. Andrew comes last. We think Andrew comes last. That was uncertain. So we can't be 100% certain yet whether it's Andrew or Lisa is second last to arrive because that's what we need to figure out. Ah, yes. Second last to arrive is one of the questions. So we it's, it's either Lisa or Andrew. Everyone's pretty much agreed on that. Yeah. But we haven't figured it out. Okay. Let's... In 2003, New York City had a population of 8 million and punk was in full swing. Longer hair was more in fashion. There would be a lot of people with braided green hair. Fuck's sake. Some of these guys are musicians. There are punk, rock, or goth chicks around. Also, hilariously, guess what's back? Oh, jeez. It's the plate. It's the, the plate did it, Claire. It was the plate that did it. Okay. okay. Now the blue bag. This we is need a bag. To figure that out. Yeah. This is the bag we're supposed to be figuring out what's going on. So that's drumstick? drumstick. So we don't know who was the drummer, but Jack was tennis racket. Bassist? No. And fuck. Can we tell what 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 this is? Who's no? What? I mean, I can't. Maybe the chat can. Mm -hmm. Lead vocals. Band mm. only. Hey, I know we're becoming better friends than we have been. I just feel like I owe it to myself to get this out. Christy. Okay, this is a note to Christy. Ooh. Christy, I do have feelings for you. I'm really nervous to tell you this. And by this, I'm not asking you to return these feelings, nor am I asking you to be anything more than you have been. So someone's writing in. So someone's into Christy. Whoever the blue bag is, they're into Christy, but okay, they so may or may you... not have given this to her. So can you turn the note around? Is uh... no, you can't. When it, when oh, it's... because oh, it's the. Back I think side it's of the back side of this because you can see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's someone who is one in the band mm. and two into Christy. That's... Yeah, yeah. And possibly you could tell from the musical notation which role in the band they would have, but mm. oh, I mean, fuck if I other can people tell. might, but we can't. Fuck if we can tell. Okay, Not so can we see anything else in the bag? No. Tennis racket, drumsticks, that folder. Someone who's into tennis. If we can find someone who's also into tennis in the band. Uh... Well, and specifically if we can find who's the drummer in the band. Yeah, let's. Because we've had information on someone being the bassist in the band. Nope, that's just the the bag. Hang, I can't I can't get to the trying to get to the the bin, but I can't. Whatever's in the bin, I can't open that. It's just that. Okay, there is also another bag next to it. So here we go. We've got ourselves a, a that's a a green pen. Is that like an an epi pen but epi with adrenaline? Yeah. Also a an inhaler. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, ep epinephrine. Epinephrine. Yes. So it's an EpiPen, but they don't want to put the... Uh, and an inhaler. The, she the sheet music is percussion. That's definitely the drummer. That's the drummer. Okay. Mm. That's good. Mr. and Mrs. Carter. Who is Carter? Christy. Christy is Carter. Now, that doesn't necessarily absolutely prove this is Christy's bag. Someone could have stolen a letter, but mm. we'll see. 
Welcome to Nobles 2003 Summer School, your student schedule for the Nobles Public High uh, Summer Academic Program can be found in your MPS portal account. Check and choose course numbers, a bit of the summer school package. Okay, what does this tell us? Program offers students with the option of earning credits and beginning the school year in line to graduate with their class. Enclosed are summer school course list, registration form, contract that should be read and signed. Does this suggest that Christy is behind in school and needs to catch up by taking yeah. extra credits during the summer? School Summer school starts the, June the 3rd, ends uh, after Friday. Oh, hang on, isn't it June the 1st today? Yeah, it is June the 1st today. Fine, so this starts in two days' time. Ends and ends after classes on Friday, August 1st. Any student who plans to attend must be present from the first day. Registration, June, uh, contract form, check for full tuition of 225 per course are due before the first class. Course will be offered only if enrollment is sufficient. And please note that the student's summer school grade does not replace any failing grade earned during the regular school year. Just allows you to earn credit to meet specific graduation requirements. Okay. Okay, so yeah. She she needed to help. She needed to help getting over mm. her just to re just to graduate. One would assume yes, they're not old enough to drink, but they are still in these are seniors. Let's use the word senior. Well, again, actually, they could be at university, though, because you can't 20, drink until 21, yeah. Because in America has wacky prohibition era <laughs> drinking rules. Oh, uh, good lord. Okay, probably. Can you, anything that's uh, by the bin there, can, is that clickable? No, I tried. There's nothing back there. The, it, you, you think you'd be able to click this, but that's just the back. That's just the back, okay. It's the back, yeah, check that. So we've got whatever... Darts and maybe a, oh an eraser for wiping the yeah, yeah, score okay. off the board there. That's fine. Let's go into the let's go into the the victim's room here. Let's figure out what the cock is going on here. Let's see if we can. Ooh. Bad owl. Bad owl. Can we we can't open that we presumably? Open that looks that. like a tool something right there. Yeah, it does look like a bit like it does look a bit of a tool case, doesn't it? That's a uh, Dumbbells? Could be. Could possibly be. Hang on. That's a case for... Yeah. Dead I... Mm. Dead, Dead Iron Clad, clad killers. killers. Is that the name of the band? I mean, presumably. It feels like, it feels like the dumb name of a band by idiot teenagers, doesn't it? Oh, suspended. Notes of suspension. There's Brian Olsen. Yep, student ID. We Now we know that if we have to cross-reference that, we now know what the student ID is. This was in May, so this was a matter of days ago. Can you um, can you look at it in the read mode so it's easier for people? Yep, Ooh. I can. Ah, that's the allegations then. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely... So, that definitely means that Lisa is Brian's sister because they were talking about the allegations against her brother. Yeah, presumably maybe the parents, they both go to the same campus and their parents hide this apartment for them to be in so they've got yeah. somewhere to be. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it doesn't, it's a very uncommon in the UK system, but in the US system, I've read that account of like, you know, parents paying for the accommodation for their kids. They've got somewhere to be. I've, I've heard that before if they don't want to yeah. be in, in dorms. So, people are saying it looks like a case for either a power drill or a gun. I think it looks more like a drill, but I've never seen a gun case. Yeah. And then uh, it's a guitar stand, not a dumbbell stand. Yeah. So, okay, let's have a look, see. Uh, following violation, yep, so disruptive behavior, sexual harassment of another student. Student reported Brian Olsen had sexually assaulted her, yeah. possibly one of the female people in this in our in our list yeah, of people we'll present hard to say these are serious allegations the school contacted law enforcement an investigation will be conducted we ask that all parties involved keep this themselves until the investigation is concluded parents of both parties have been notified a conference scheduled and that was for may 30th so that's already passed the conference to discuss what's going on has already passed. A student must return to school with the parent guardian listed on the uh, school computer network. This is not convenient. Parents should call the school at here is a number. Okay. Thoughts. Christy? It is entirely possible that it is Christy and Grace is like, Christy's been wanting to get in his pants, but actually it's the other way around. He's been wanting to get in Christy's pants. He's not a drummer, though, because he doesn't have a drum set in there. He's just got, like, a guitar. Yeah. So he's maybe not the person who owns the blue bag. Yeah. But I was going to say, if Christy's been struggling in school, that might explain why if she's been the victim 
you know, uh, if she's having to deal with that kind of stuff happening to her. This could be some form of false allegation to fuck with him as revenge for some perceived slight or another. It could be. This could be a real allegation. It could be a fake allegation. We simply don't know yet. Mm -hmm. We don't have enough evidence to make a, yeah. a call one way or the other. The Let's just skip, skip I mean, back balance to... of probability says it's probably real, but we also don't know. Let's just go... Assume things. Let's go back to... If we can. <laughs> Sometimes it just... Maybe Christy was the victim of the assault and the other person who liked her, who had the blue bag, uh, killed uh, Brian to get revenge on him for doing that to her. It may possibly have just <laughs> crashed. Hang on. Nope, no, we're fine. There we go, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, Everything's under control. Andrew got I... in a fight about, quote, a girl... Uh, so maybe he was the drummer that likes Kirsty. I just want to go back to Lisa's testimony for a second. So, yes, tenants close with your brother. We don't talk about deep things. Mostly keeps to himself. Are you aware of the allegations? What allegations? Let's change the topic. So uh, these allegations came out like three days ago. And in three days, Lisa never learnt about them. Yeah. Okay. Because he keeps to himself. Yeah. They don't really talk about stuff. Fair enough. And therefore, I... we can reasonably assume Lisa was not the victim of the, or made the allegation. Otherwise, she would know. So this was not the brother in some way attacking the sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. If uh, we assume can it's... We, can we have a look at either... Hmm. Was it Jack or, or Eric who's in the band? Because one of them definitely said they were a bassist. Uh, hmm. Hang on, check the things... Hmm. So, oh, yes, Jack it's plays the bass. Jack. I play, yes, I play the bass. I also play guitar, but I usually play bass. Okay, so wait a minute. Let's, the band. So, Jack plays bass. Yeah. Presumably, Brian plays guitar. Let's go over to, and yeah, we, we don't have Brian's testimony because he's dead. Um, mm. I don't think Andrew's Andrew in the band. Andrew doesn't talk about being in the band, no. Did Eric talk about being in the band? He did, because there were stuff about his playing. Uh, no? Yes, that was listed at the bottom. Uh, he was on my... Yeah, a bit busy, having not much time to practice. So presumably then, by process of elimination, because no one else talks about being in the band, yeah. Eric might well be the drummer. So, yeah, we've got a band. We believe the band is three people. W guitarist and bassist to kind of alternate because they're similar yeah. instruments, more so than drums. And Eric, therefore, by process of elimination, is the drummer. Let's work at that assumption for now, but it's not locked in yet. I have put question marks Let's in Let's put notes. some question marks. So, okay. Back over to the room here. Here we go. There's a set of keys. That'll be... So, this will probably be... His normal set of keys, because they're right by his bed. And that's they're not lodge. marked. So that means that the key that's on the hook is a different key at all. We can't look... We can't see what this... Car key? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Car keys can look like that, absolutely. Especially yeah. this, this is 2002. Like the, like my car key, right, when I had yeah, the old Toyota. it makes sense to be allowed to like drive that. before you're allowed to drink. Anyway. A car, like that, that. This reminds me of my old Toyota car yeah. key. That could be a car key, not a house key. Yeah, fair enough. No, Especially as like, yeah, the, the, the cut of the key is, is quite distinct. Uh, so can we see anything on those like uh, machines or whatever? Was that a fax? Uh, no, it's like a record. This is a music thing, I think. Possibly. Or maybe. That looks like a fax to it me. It does look like it. You're right. Oh, so I, I, was ruled, I, was, I, was, I was fooled by the ultrasonic record player. Uh, yeah. Okay. Little basketball thingy. Various posters. Doesn't seem relevant, but maybe relevant. Let's just uh, get right up close to our little corpse friend here. Little Luke, see, yep, there's uh, that's a big bass guitar, right? Yeah, and so the the that's a guitar, I don't know if it's a bass or not, but it's if pretty you, damn big. If you turn around behind you, yeah, that in this case over there might be a set of keys, then like a keyboard. Like a oh, just, so I think it's quite large keys. You get it's given the keys to the city for, for saving <laughs> the world from Lex Luthor, Jesus, and then an amp, of course, yes. Uh, yes. The oh, they're drumsticks behind a record player. That's true, actually. That could well be. Looks like it. Yeah. Doesn't it? 
It does look yeah. like those, those look like drumsticks. That's true. Mm. Interesting. Now let's have a little look. See, so yeah, we found this. And whatever that is, a casing, a bullet, we don't know. And maybe the chat will tell us because I mean, they were looks... annoyed with you about uh, whatever you. Um... Are they saying this was fired? It doesn't look fired to me. I don't know. I mean, it's not. There's no. What's the impact if it's fired? It's perfectly regular. There's no blood in it. There's no marks of gunpowder. This can't have been fired. This well, wasn't fired. I'm not having this. People are saying it's a casing, so the bullet was fired. That's a guitar case, not a keyboard case. Fair enough. That's a casing. There's no bullet inside of the casing. Yeah, if you look at it, it's hollow inside. But there's no... Well, I don't know, John. I don't understand. It doesn't make sense. The rectangular case is an electric guitar case, and the oh. other one is an acoustic guitar case. Fair enough. The bullet is the flying bit. The gunpowder container is the casing. There is a strike mark on the bottom. It was definitely fired. Okay. Fair enough. I don't know how it's guns work. It's missing the pointy bit of the bullet. So that's but how you know it got, it's a why gun Why has it not got like, you know, like marks on it? Like, like scuffy marks. It does on the inside where the bullet was fired. I guess so. In right. the hollow bit of it. Let's go back to these keys. Because, okay, he's locked himself in his room. Those are his keys he's put next to his bed. Fair, legit. This is probably his car key. We can't examine it. We we don't know. Let's go back to Lisa's testimony about the location of the keys. So, ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah, you lost your keys. Yeah, must, etc, etc. We keep a spare on the kitchen wall. It was missing. Someone must have taken it. So that was noticed about 7 p.m. Can you remember exactly when you noticed the spare key was missing? I checked as soon as I came back. It was already gone. So somebody took the key. This suggests premeditated. Because somebody took that key very early in the evening. The evening went on for a while. Eventually, Brian goes to bed, locks the door behind him. And then someone who's already taken the key uses it. But the people who arrive before Lisa yeah. are Jack, Grace and Eric. It's now, possible, Grace says possibly Christy Andrew. also was there. It could have been Andrew mm. too. It could have been Andrew too. Could've we don't been. know the order of Andrew and Lisa. That was unclear. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, let's let's get into some real important shit here. Stuff that's literally sitting on his desk. The dead ironclad killers. Band member uh, Brian. Okay, that's the address. Fine. Phone number. Queens, New York. Zip. Email. Ah. And now we know who was in the band. Andrew was definitely in the band. Andrew was in the band. He just did not discuss it. 18, 18, 18, and 17. Jack was slightly younger. So list all musical instruments you'll be bringing. You must include replication. Tiny bit of money. Band, ma band member signatures. Music sheets of all songs that your band intends to play. So, okay, that's in line with the blue, the blue bag that contains yeah. sheet music. CD or tape recording of your group. With intended members playing together, and there is no thing, so there's no other. There's no side page to two to tell us conveniently who plays the drums. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, the band has one more member than we thought it did. Let's go into. Oh, the laptop is open. Nice. So we've got group chats and private chats. Oh. Let's start off with private chats, and unfortunately, some of them are going to be fairly obvious, some of them not so much. Now, Gracie is reasonably. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. So, right, I faxed you something, did you get it? But, Vader217 is Brian. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's just, yeah, right after their names, their ID's online. So, Vader217 is Brian, because this is his computer, these are his private chats. We must assume Vader217 is Brian. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, Gracie59 is obviously Lisa. Yeah, it's, Grace. It's got to be, yeah, Lisa, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so, she does call him babe. His sister does. That's true. Yeah. Hey, babe. What the hell am I looking at? This just came in today. Keep this between us. I don't want anyone else to know about it. So, okay. So must... that's the the document report of harassment. It yeah. was over by the fax machine. Story checks out. Is this true? Of course not. You think I'd be sharing this if it was true? I bet you a million it was Christy. I was thinking the same. Can you talk to her? Now, also, let's just verify. <laughs> this is all taking place on the 28th of May. So this is a few days Two before. Days ago. Pretty much straight after this. Now, what's interesting, therefore, is Brian, pretty much immediately after he saw this, sends it to Grace. Brian receives a note that there has been allegations made against him and sends them to his girlfriend yeah which 
like, as much as I hate it, whenever, you know, fictional things, games and everything use fake allegations because they don't actually, they make such a small portion of allegations. This does feel it like... It does feel like it was a fake allegation, maybe. It feels also like, therefore, he has got an extremely high level of trust and fondness for... For Gracie. For Grace, that he would share that immediately. Yeah. This, this feels like this is Sorry, a high I level. Sorry, I, I'm, I'm defaulting to Gracie now that I've seen this because Ted has a dog friend called Gracie. Yeah. So it comes very naturally for me to say so, okay. Gracie. Going to kill next time I see her. Calm down. Don't make this with this. Just talk to her. Only she can make this go away fine. Except they were assuming it was Christy, but they weren't sure. Yeah. Let's try and figure out what the other people are. So now we've got Jester578. Dude, you can't just bail... I'm sorry something came up. This is the following day, the 29th of May. And... We can't practice without a drummer. Okay. Whoever the drummer is, that's Jester578. And whoever the drummer is... Yeah, even though there are drumsticks in this guy's room, clearly he does not know how to play the drums. And let's see... Um, but yeah, Jester yeah. Seven se Five Seven Eight is the owner of the blue bag. If we can figure out who Jester and is, we've got the blue. We've got the owner of the blue bag. Eric. Yeah. We weren't sure. We're not sure if Eric or Andrew plays the drums, but Eric was saying that uh, Brian was on his case about making mistakes in rehearsal. But he did say Brian was on. He didn't say that Brian was on his case for missing rehearsal. Correct. So, okay, we don't know. We can't ID Jester578, but we do know he was in the band. Uh, Can we buy pro... Actually, if we figure out this, we might be able to process of eliminate it. Wait, 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 wait. Cheat said... Eric said he had no time to practice. Yes, but I thought what he was saying is that during band practices, he was making mistakes because he didn't have time to practice on his own time. Yeah. Let's, Not that he had mispractice altogether. Let's process, we might be able to process of limits because we now know the four members of the band. So we might be able to figure out the other members of the band's IDs. So, we so might let's be able to, see Gamer Boy then. Exactly. Who's Gamer Boy? Can you come over to my place? This is that. This is a, This is like a week before some of the rest of this. Go over bass arrangement for the new song. I'll come over after five. I'll be at my dad's until then. That reminds me. Do you think your dad will be willing to be a sponsor for our next gig? I can ask Sweet. Let me know what he says. So this is one. These are the two guitarists. So who's the other guitarist? Jack. So Jack is Gamer Boy. Jack is Gamer Boy. So it's not Brian. It's not Jack. Who are the other members of the band? Andrew. Andrew and... So the members of the band are Jack, Brian, Eric and Andrew. Uh, Jack played bass. Yeah. Brian played guitar and he's dead. Eric maybe plays the drum. Andrew maybe plays the drum. So it's one... Jester is one of those two. Jester is either Eric so or Andrew. So Eric or Andrew is the owner of the blue bag. Mm. Okay, blue bag is Eric or Andrew. Make a note of that because that's important. It's either Eric or Andrew who's the blue bag who's the blue bag owner. It's got to be. Like, let's go over to the group chat. See what we've got. So here we go. Dead Iron Clag Killers. More information. And we've got the fourth band member is Strikers. So hey guys, we need to practice this week. Can we meet up this Tuesday? No can do. I've got a track meet on Tuesday. I have a race coming up real soon. Doesn't match up with what we saw in the bag. That was tennis racket, not track. Mm -hmm. I can't do Tuesday either, says Gamer Boy. I agreed to help my dad at his store. Jester says, seems most of us can't make it. Let's reschedule. What about Thursday? Thursday's fine with me. I'm good with Thursday. Same here. Cool. Wait, think... wait, wait, wait. Stay. I'm trying to write down the name. Uh, Strikers. Strikers. Okay. With a Z. Um... Okay, so wait a minute. His dad's store. Who was that that was talking about the dad's store? That's Gamer Boy. Because mm. Gamer Boy was talking about his dad before, no? And and uh, maybe... Go oh, in the private chat. Yeah. Sponsoring the band. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he's just slightly more affluent than the others. Yeah, because he has a store. But at least we now know the ID of the other person. If we can, if we can ID either Strikers or Jester, we've, mm -hmm. got, we've, we've nailed it. We've nailed the yeah. bag. So, okay, let's go over to graduation party, which may not include everyone because some people are not graduating, lol. As you know, a few of us are going to be graduating. We're going to have a grad party at our place 7 p.m. on Saturday. So this is this must be what the yeah. celebration was. It was the graduation party. Let's go on bringing drink. Jester is Andrew. Okay, we have, we've got Andrew as Jester. And if we've got that, that means it's and Andrew's Eric the bag. Eric Strikers and Andrew is the bag, yeah. Andrew's the bag. All right, you know what? I'm coming straight up to write the links. We can put it in now just so we don't forget. 
<laughs> so who owned the blue sports bag? Andrew. Do we have a surname? Do we ever get a surname for Andrew? Do do do. I don't believe so. Well, let's not worry about that for the time being, Dan. So who died feels suspiciously easy. Suspiciously easy. I'm highly suspicious of this. <laughs> right. Back over to this. Back over to the grad party. So let's go on bringing drinks. Why can't we just go to the arcade, says Gamer Boy. Is Gamer Boy the one who's 17 there for, by any chance? Jack. I don't know. Possibly. It's just, it's just, I don't know. He was just like worried about, you know, a, a, a drinks, a legal drinks party. Maybe because mm. he's still a year away from graduation. Uh, arcade really don't understand how we enjoy that boring place. And what, chugging a whole bottle of cordialite is fun for you. I think the arcade is fine. Says Gracie. Chill, guys. Already made preparations. Just want us to enjoy our last time as high schoolers together. Okay, high schoolers. It's weird to have your own apartment as a high schooler, but sure. Someone needs to watch over Eric. Make sure he doesn't drink so much. Party pooper. You barfed Wait, all... Wait, so, so, so... Kitty Lover 54 is new. And that'll be probably Lisa then, because I don't think Christy would have been in a chat. It must be Lisa, because it took me a week to get rid of the smell. Who else is going to be scrubbing yeah, yeah, the yeah. sofa inside their own apartment? Yeah. And Eric is Strikers. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, because yeah, somebody needs to watch over Eric, party pooper. Strikers replied to you that. You bathed, yeah. So that makes perfect sense. Uh, okay, okay, geez, I'll be more careful. We'll see each other this coming Saturday. Questions or concerns, message in the chat. What time are we gathering? Scroll up, idiot. He already mentioned the time. All right. So yeah. that's what we've got on the computer. So we've got one good answer right there. But we're still not really that much closer to who killed him, precisely. Let's just check if there's anything in the bin or under the desk. And nothing. And we had just the messenger app in the phone, right? In the computer, I mean. Yeah, that was it. Just messenger. Nothing and else. And can you get anything from, like, that radio behind or no? Ah, fair enough. Nope, nothing there. Nothing there at all. And can't do anything with American government? Yeah, maybe that's just Studying politics, studying politics perhaps. Okay, let's go into Lisa's room. There shouldn't be too much going on in here, but I suspect there's going to be something in here that completely recontextualizes everything. Yes, look at the calendar. Hello, tennis, tennis, and more tennis. Ooh, Okay. Is it possible he could have been stealing something here? Could he have been, for some reason... Stealing her tennis shirt? I don't know, man. It feels a bit weird. Unless there's something that suggests that this is how unless, they, they unless, hang out together. Unless, yeah, she plays tennis with Andrew or she also plays the drums and she's in love with Christy. We've got our favourite thing in the world here, which is we've got calendars. Uh, only two months on this occasion. Regional match, so tennis, that'll be presumably. tennis. Presumably, club photo, practice exams, uh, grandpa's birthday, finals, tennis club. Wow, finals being like just. If you how cocky long my finals went on for, I know month and you a half. showed me month and a half. I showed you the exam papers too. They're yeah. very interesting. Tennis club, club publication day, preparation day. But oh, okay, sorry. Uh, club preparation day, and then and then. Last day of school. Nothing particularly of note there, to my mind. No, Come back to I it later. So. Come back to well, it later. Well, we can see if there was anything in Brian's room. He doesn't have a calendar in his room, does he, Brian? I don't believe he did, no. Okay. That is obviously this computer too. Messenger. So, grad party. Ah, racket scientists. Now, I wonder if... Hang on, what's Andrew's username? Andrew is Jester. Now, is Jester going to be in the racket scientist if he is also a tennis player? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see if we've got... And uh, racket scientist is no, just Kitty Lover and Lord Killer. Now, Kitty Lover's Lisa, right? We're happy Lord with that. Killer. Okay, uh, and even though school's over, do you want to meet up and practice in the summer? I'm fine with meeting up my family and I'm going to be able to town around the end of July. Anybody else? Literally no one else got back to Okay, one. Lord Killer is not somebody who was in the... Yeah. That's, that's not a um, username that was in any of the other texts. So. Let's check if Lord Killer shows up in here. No, none of them. Okay, and then the grad party, which we've already seen. Logically, there'd be nothing in the group chat that we've no. not already seen, just with the different one highlighted as yeah, the yeah, first yeah. person. But, like, so scroll fine. down to the end to check any... Yeah, okay, cool. And then the private chats, there are... So we've got Jester. Now, yeah. that is... Andrew, should be that's Andrew, Andrew, yeah. Have you heard from Christy? She hasn't been to school in a few days. She's not picking up. 
And this is, yeah, this was on the 30th. So Andrew on the 30th is saying, hey, where's Christy got herself to? Lisa, have, haven't you heard? Case told me she was sexually assaulted by someone. What the fuck? Tell me they caught this motherfucker. Easy cowboy, it's just a rumour. School hasn't said anything yet. Hopefully it's nothing. And she didn't know that that complaint had been made against her brother. Yeah. Although it's also like Casey told me that. It's a little bit vague. Yeah, and yeah, It's a yeah, bit yeah. whispery. So, okay, but nothing about tennis. Still nothing that would indicate why is there a tennis racket in that, in that blue bag. Mm -hmm. mm, interesting. Okay, let's go over... Because the, none of these we, we know, right? Yeah. So, okay, Zane78, Christy is graduating this year. We'll need a new captain. You think I think you'd be a good fit. What do you think? I was hoping uh, I was hoping you'd be up for the task. Let's talk about it tomorrow at school. Got to go. So that's for the tennis. So presumably, Chris, presumably Lisa and Christy are both playing tennis together. And presumably... Christy? Since Christy is graduating, we'll need a new captain. Christy is the current captain. Ah, makes sense. So okay. what that means is that Christy... So, so Lisa's a tennis player because she's got the awards. Yeah. Andrew's a tennis player because he's got the. Uh, stuff Maybe this in his is just bag. how they met once back in the day. Yeah. And so yeah, Andrew and Christy and uh, Lisa mm -hmm. are all in tennis club together. Yeah. Andrew likes Christy. Christy maybe likes Brian. Yeah. Brian maybe assaulted Christy. Maybe she made some kind of false testimony because she likes him and, you know, depending on who we believe between her and Gracie. Yeah. And Grace. Uh, Let's move on yeah. to the others. Cassandra. So I don't know if you heard words going around that Christy was sexually assaulted by someone at school. Hasn't been to school in a few days. You better not be joking. What's the school doing about it? Having issued a statement. Hopefully it's nothing. You know how she is. She's such a drama queen. Mm. Interesting thing for Lisa to say, having just heard that. Okay. So, wait, that's not... Scroll down. Oh, it's sorry. <laughs> You're lucky you have your brother. What's that supposed to mean? He's a big guy. Even guys are intimidated by him. The perfect creep deterrent. Mm. Okay. Over to Lillian. Guess who I saw trying to walk home with Christy today? You're definitely overreacting. Girl, I'm telling you, he's 100% into Christy. I bet you that's the only reason he joined the tennis club. Andrew. Yep, there we go. If it is, thank God he did. He's one of our best players. Uh, he's going to have a tough time getting through her brothers. Uh, I know all of them. They're all pretty nice guys. Fine. So though it's not mentioned here... Yeah. We believe Andrew Yeah. is, yeah. Andrew is into tennis because he's into Christy. And that's yeah. why there's the tennis racket there. Fine. We're pretty confident Andrew's the blue bag in that case. Yeah, Fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the group chat was, yeah, we've seen that and we've seen the private messages. So, okay, that's on the computer. Let's see Ah, what else. okay. Yeah. So that means Lisa is Brian's younger sister because she's apparently staying in high school because she's not... Yeah, she's okay. gonna be captain next year or whatever. I mean, the room does read slightly younger. I yeah, suppose. but I mean, it's wild that they have an apartment. Uh. Yeah. Maybe it's more common if you like you go to school really far away to go to a really good prep school or something. I guess. Uh, are there photos? In oh no, that's uh... her with a gun. Hello. May or may not be important, and also her with a horse. Yeah. Before or after she turned her horse into lasagna, right there. Uh huh. Makeup, elements of literature, American literature, fine, course, textbook. Is there another photo next to the... There's just stickers. Are, there, are they, these maybe like old gold guide badges that have been hung up to make a little display or something? Or just, I thought, maybe just stickers. Is there another photo on the side of that pink box? Side of the pink box? What pink box? Other side of the pink box. The pink box with the drawer. There you go. There's another photo on the side. Oh, it's maybe probably them as Brian. Kids, yeah, yeah must, I would guess that would be Brian and Lisa. Uh, yeah. As kids, if I had to guess, we can't interact with it. Fair enough. Okay, hair dryer. Nothing yeah, particularly dramatic. Normal. You know, pretty cheap, basic furniture. Uh, Holmes mystery. Excellent. Just a fan. A little bit of Luke C. Oh, dog. Dog. The dog did it. No. Okay. A is that a. I, mean, I read that as a chocolate bar. Yeah, milk, chocolate, peanuts, and caramel. Fine. Odd yeah. thing to have right next to your bed, but, you know. Yeah. Some form of that nail polish? Yeah, that's definitely read that as nail, nail polish, polish yeah. a soda. And then, hang on, was there something I could interact with? Just Some... a chocolate bar. Okay. Doesn't seem particularly... I don't know, maybe somebody is allergic to peanuts and she's going to murder them that way. And... 
community food drive and soup kitchen. Okay. Help homeless citizens. Yeah. Can't interact with it. No, I interact with anything else in here by the looks of it. Let's check the bathroom. So, yeah. okay. Surprisingly few products in here, in a way, to my mind. Yeah. Droplets, shampoo, also shampoo. Excellent. That's weird. No, I, I'm also a vampire. <laughs> yeah. FYI, I'm a vampire. That's that's just a thing I am. Sorry, this is it's it's sad that this is how I figured it out. Uh cleansing It's Dove! It's pigeon! Oh. It's Dove Soap! I love Dove Soap! I, I can't use any soap aside from Dove soap, and it's literally the. You're it, a basic it's bitch. literally the it's, the. it's the cream bar. It's my Dove cream. They okay. They didn't do it. That packaging is uh, for sure it's, exactly. It's yeah, actually one of them Dove didn't soap. Did it I love he's Dove dead, soap. John. I love Dove soap. There we go. Yeah, people are saying it's definitely, definitely a, a definitely not a Snickers bar. Yeah. Lol. Then we've got. Is that um. Is that uh, contact lenses, right and left? Yeah, 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 definitely. Probably contact lenses. Uh, probably male cologne from the bottle. Perfume or cologne, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hot and cold. There's, Your there's pigeon soap. It's it's too dark. It should be whiter than that. It's it's a, dove soap is a, is a lighter color. Yeah, but pigeons are a darker color than doves. It's, you know what? That's true. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, into the party room. So Pringles. Th this probably not li Pringles for legal reasons. Actually, no. Actually, they're they're poppers or peppers or something. Yeah, I mean, clearly not Pringles. You can see from the what's so, on the can. This is where the key presumably would have been on these things right over here. Uh, anything we could interact with on this. Oh, nice. Yeah, just free various peaches offerings, etc., etc. Nothing we can actually pick up and look What's at. What's on the side? How to survive on your own for the son who avoided chores like a plague. Oh, his parents wrote him. Very cute. Some dumb things about everything. That's cute. Excellent. Okay, that's just a key. But that's touch. not readable. That's if, just if you yeah. can't yeah, if you can't interact and go into reboot, it can't be critical, I mm, think is, yeah. is I think something uh important. So alright. So just random various Tupperware and stuff. Uh-huh. Just random uh, just a red cup. Just a solo cup, yeah. The sand Lisa. Lisa. Now the fact that the cups were actually I mean it would do you think it would be common to Okay, I like, mean, on the one hand, I see the sense of maybe having a cup you write your name on in felt tips so that you you keep using the same cup. So, you know, for hygiene reasons. But I'm also suspicious of a system whereby you can know whose cup is whose. This is true. Little bit suspicious that Lisa's cup is, is has been written on there. I wonder if that's going to be true for the other cups. I and mean, there's not that many cups. So, yeah, I think so. I think it is. Grace. But what do we know about? Try to. Can you look at? You can't. Oh yeah. I so can. It's, just, it's a little bit fiddly to get inside. Are we supposed to be trying to check if anyone's? If there's like evidence of tempering, I guess maybe. Like I don't know a residue. Like I don't know. Well, does like does like any the... like like roofy type thing leave a residue in the bottom of the cup? Well, I don't actually know, John. And I'm very glad you don't either. Jack. Jack. Yeah. That one's still got some liquid in it by the looks of it. Yeah. Which we cannot pour out. Physics! Turning it how you want to turn is very difficult. Uh, now, hang yeah. on. If this is then, then that's a thing over there. That's just the uh, regular. So, hang on. Who's... who? If we're... I feel like the the purpose is being defeated by the fact that they've... Yeah, used Eric them. has fallen over. Okay, so we've got six glasses for six people. Yeah, but they've clearly used more than that because there's more that are like... But isn't that like a beer pong type game? Uh, which I have no idea what the rules are. But I think that might be like a drink... A, they did mention there was drinking games here. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But I don't see... That any... does place at least near the keys. I mean, you can't place someone based on where their glass is at some point or another. Mm. Which is, yeah... Okay. Wait, I thought Lisa didn't Lisa say. Well, you know what? This does also suggest Lisa did engage in the party to some extent. Yeah, because you wouldn't have previously necessarily we weren't... drank water in a Because otherwise we weren't sure whether she was just yeah. rather like, oh, there's a party going on. I'll go straight to my room. Or, hey, Brian, can you unlock my door with your spare keys? Now we can be pretty confident she did at least partake. 
of the booth. Oh, you were saying she did at least parte. <laughs> she at least a parte down to some extent. Yeah. Is there anything else on here you can interact with? Good old chippers. chippers Everyone loves yeah. chippers originals. Obviously, there's beer. Listen, chippers original is the best flavor of chippers. I don't make the rules. Uh huh. Those are really large olives. Those are aggressively large yeah. olives right there. That's that's some large ass olives. Right, then we've got Boo. Someone brought a coffee, possibly with them. There we go. Nutritional facts about pe peppers. Chippers. Or, chippers, sorry. Okay, and that was just the thing, right? Yeah, then they got a few, quite a few bottles of beer. Quite a few. And, oh. That's just a bag of chips and a few more. <laughs> Yeah. What did you think it was? Well, I was just like, the shape that it made when you saw it, I just thought that maybe it looked a little bit like like underpants. Mm -hmm. Okay, by Luke it. Okay, we are officially, we are we are in, the, that's the N64 right there. That's game console. Everyone... Ah, the famous GC game console. Except hilariously, of course, the GC was the GameCube, which yeah, was the generation after this one. But and also put it was on a, a cube. But they've put it on an N64, which is kind of hilarious. And that is Assassin's, Assassin's Kingdom! Kingdom! Dragons of Haven. For the GC4. So it gets more Order confusing. And duty. I don't know they, they've blended the they've blended the N64, the GameCube, and the PS4 into one mega console. I'm eating chippers right now. Except rather confusingly, this is game console is clearly is the old is takes cartridges because there's not a disc drive. Yet the games clearly provide come in discs. So what the hell? Mm -hmm. What the hell? Oh, it's honor, it's honor and duty too. I said that. Yeah, damn straight, love it. Oh, what's on the other side? Gun Ho Roy, the highest and furthest of the stars. Tangled hearts. Mm -hmm. Downfall like Cactus Peak. Kiss on the rose. That just sounds like porn. Yeah. Like classy porn, but still porn. Nothing particularly of interest yeah. there. That's like that would be like a DVD player. We're just in the yeah. earlier stages of HDMI coming in around 2002, yeah, 2003. Yeah, yeah. We're very early. Like we've still got quite fat TVs, but we're just at the dawn of HDMIs. Yeah, and you've got uh, you've got uh, yeah. I think both a disc and a VHS in the same thing. Yes, yeah, so that'll be an old. Yeah, I mean clearly they have their own flat, so their parents are. I like, mean, unless we're supposed know. to be assuming that this is the game console. <laughs> But because they these are discs and they're GC4s, this is the this is the game console four, and then this universe, Nintendo and Sony are the same company, and the game console was followed presumably by the GC2, the GC3, and the GC4. But someone's brought their original GC, but they're actually playing on the GC4 because you'll notice there's no controllers plugged into the GC, but controllers are plugged into the GC4. Oh my god! I think these are GC4 games, and they were playing with a GC4. Though, admittedly, the controllers are a horrendous nightmare where the buttons are, the button symbols are that of ah, a PS4. But the... FF5 Radbox. Well, it's, it's, a, 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 you know what? I quite like that they're cheap knockoff horrible controllers that, are, <laughs> that were cheaper. But the analog stick orientation is not that of, of, a, of a PS4. The analog stick is the correct orientation of upper on the left, lower on the right. I love you. You know what? I'm going to say there's a clue here. Ooh, there's a shoe. I was about to say there's a clue here. Claire. Uh -huh. They were playing video games. How many of them were playing video games? Three. Yeah. Because there's three controllers plugged in. So that might be of interest that potentially later into the evening, three of them were, were playing, playing video, video games. games. Yeah. Could potentially be of note and interest that three of them were left. So we've got, yes, the wolf pack and nobles. We know that's the school. We know Christy was struggling a bit. They've stolen a traffic cone. What a bunch of degenerate scum. And that shoe's not interactable, is it? Nope, it is not. There's some Greedle's original nacho flavour. Nice. There we go. Let's just check if we've missed anything else here because we might have to start trying to come up with some assumptions. And there's a little skateboard back here, but there's nothing we can do with that. And I think we have seen most of the Can evidence. Can we go into the fridge at all? Or? I believe we checked the fridge earlier and it was not openable. Ah, nope, yeah, cannot be enough. interacted with. Can't interact with any of you. Can't interact with any of you. Okay. 
Ooh, we need to start making. Can we reread uh, real quick the testimony? Yes, we like, absolutely I'm interested can. In we absolutely can. Checking out. Yeah. So who do you, who do you want to? Do you want to go through all yeah, of them? Yeah, let's go through say? all of them. So okay, Christy. So Christy, who very suspiciously said was not here at all. But it was very. If she wasn't at the party and she wasn't drinking. It's she was definitely at the party be... and she predate and she definitely arrived before Andrew, yes. Okay, but she if she wasn't at the party and she hadn't been drinking, Both correct. it's weird that she would be so confused. Yeah. Unless the sexual assault allegation was actually true and she was still, you know, processing that. Uh, Why has Christy gone to the apartment of the person she made the accusation? I mean, that's that's I that's a big know, question we've got to answer. She says she hasn't talked to him. I mean, logically, yes. Given the situation, as far as the police would be aware, was she made the allegation against him. It makes sense that she wouldn't have seen. She wouldn't have. Okay. It. I mean, question though. Yeah. The police is interviewing her. Yeah. Are they interviewing her because Grace said she was there? Because Grace said she's a psycho, she killed him. Or because they know that she's the one who made the allegation because someone mentioned to them. One might reasonably assume you know. Christy thinks she's being interviewed in connection to the sexual assault allegation, but does not realise until midway through that she's actually be, that she's actually dealing with something much more serious, the murder charge. Yeah. And that's why she panics. Yeah. Because, yeah, according to the story pertaining to the allegation, she had not spoken to Brian at all, but... Yeah, why was she... Can we go back and check, uh, what was it, Jake and... Uh, Grace and uh, Jack, who arrived together? Yeah, let's go with Grace here. So, uh, he and I have been dating for about a year. Things were going well. That checks out with the private messages we yeah, saw. They sure. seem to be, you know, she, he trusted her, sent her the information straight away. So... But she's not telling the cops she made a false allegation about him. This is how much she hated him. Yeah. yeah. Lion bitch has been trying to get between Brian and I ever since we got together. Unless... Mm. Could Grace have made the allegation to pin it on Kurt Christie? Maybe. If for some reason she was deeply worried about the fact that, like, you know, say, actually, Christie, for example snuck up to see Brian and Grace was aware that Christy was sneaking around with Brian and Brian was double timing her. Grace makes the allegation, claims it's Christy, but hang on. Hang, hang. Let's just go back over to the computer for a second. We also have things with Lisa telling Lisa telling somebody else on Messenger that... I was thinking the same. So the moment he gets the allegation, his first assumption on the 28th of May is that it was Christie. Why would he assume on the 28th of May, the first thing he sees when he, when he gets notified that an allegation has been made against him, that it's going to be Christie? Unless, of course, he, he thinks that because he did it. Why would he well... assume? Why would he jump to the assumption? Why would both of them jump to the assumption immediately that Christie's the one that makes the allegation. What because reason do they have for that? We have seen in Lisa's messages when she was talking to other people, she was saying that uh, Christie is a psycho or whatever. Mm -hmm. She was saying that Christie is like a drama llama. Yeah. So it would make sense if they're thinking, you know, someone's doing that to create issues. Mm. The thing is, however, okay, to contradict the part I just made though. In the event that, say, you know, uh, Brian is actually messing around, then you would expect to maybe find he, he would have used his private chat to do it. Yeah, I mean, clearly Brian's not having specific contact with Christy. Where he's not talking to Wait, do to we him. have Christy's? What's Christy's well, I username? Think Christy might have been in the chat with... There is in an Lisa. unidentified tennis player in Lisa's chats, I think. Let's see if we can figure that, if we can figure out an ID for that. Group. Yeah, look at uh, group chat. Racket scientist, Lord Killer. 
my family goes. I mean, I guess there's Lord in it, so it might be a guy, but it's also kind of. There's. Very... I feel like there's no evidence there that we could make no, that assumption. There no, would there would be course. some clue that would lead us into that direction if that was the case. Yeah, and I think no one, no one actually has a private chat with Christy. No. Which is yeah, interesting. Shout out to Grace in chat who says no, I'm innocent. <laughs> Lol. Do we have anything else in here? Well, people are saying because of the way that... Because where the casing dropped... Yeah. Like, the murderer... Yeah. Comes into the room, opens the door... Yeah. Walks, like... Because the casing dropped inside the room, it must mean that he was shot point blank. Actually, you know what else this room tells us? What? Well, it tells us what he wasn't doing. He wasn't sleeping. He was not in bed. That's not someone who was who got out of their bed and hurry because someone just walked into the room with a cocking gun. And I, and I don't think it's someone who was sitting down either because that's not someone, based on where they were shot, he was not sitting at that desk. Well, do you think maybe it's... But, and also, in the event that someone opens the door, it, this is not someone who was taken by surprise because this chair has been... Looks like it's been quite carefully put back. This yeah. this feels like he quite calmly and slowly was active in his room when the gun was fired, suggesting he was taken by surprise by someone he wasn't ah. expecting to shoot him. Maybe he... Some people are saying he maybe he died by suicide. I mean, it's one a hell of a... It's a weird place to... But there is no gun that we can find. No, I'm no expert on this, but I feel like if you were planning to take your own life... Would you shoot your shooting yourself in the heart? I don't know. Is weird. And also, where's the gun? Where's no, the... I think where's the gun is the more, more important question. I think where's the bullet? We can reasonably assume at this point the bullet is in Brian. Mm. But doesn't it go? Do, bo do bullets go through? Or Depends maybe on the bullet. It, it hits the bone. Depends on the bullet. Depends I guess. Depends where it hits, though. Yeah. It could be embedded in. Uh... And like we say, this could be a gun case. I mean, I some guess people, it could, some I people look, know. some people, some Americans in the chat. I do this as a theoretical gun case. Yeah. So. Hi, Ted. Oh, he's very sleepy. Okay. Okay, so it's possible that, like, okay, if we <laughs> think that here. what happened, yeah. If we think that what happened um, was Andrew realized that. Um, realize in conversation at some point with everybody else yeah. that uh, Brian was the one who had allegations against him and so he thinks well he assaulted Christy whether or not it's true yeah. he goes to pound on Brian's door and yell at him and Brian's like no I'm not opening the door for you you're clearly insane right now mm -hmm. and then he opens the door and then shoots him and yeah. so Brian is like awake and aware okay but then, like, okay, we also know that Andrew is the one who's got the spare, the fake ID because he buys the alcohol. He could also use that to buy a gun. Yeah. And if he's taken the keys as soon as he arrived, if he did come before Lisa. Yeah. Or if he stole Lisa's keys because she lost hers. Yeah. And they have mates in common in the tennis club. Yeah. You know. Let's, let's, okay, we've made the timeline for the start of the evening. Let's mm. try and figure out more of a timeline for the end of the evening. Because mm. the crucial bit of information we need to, we, that we, that we haven't found much to elaborate on yet, is Jack and Brian were arguing for a bit. This is later into the evening. Once, once it gets real, Lisa's probably gone to bed at this point. Mm. Jack and Brian are arguing. Why are Jack and Brian arguing? Based on what we've seen with... The chat. What was Jack's? What was Jack's username? Uh, Jack's username was Gamer Boy. That's Gamer Boy. Let's go over to the Gamer Boy DMs and see if we can piece together why they're arguing. So, come over to my place. Uh, come over at five. It reminds me. I mean, they see they got on pretty smooth. Next to some yeah. of the other chats, that's actually pretty cordial. Maybe. Uh, do you want to go? Do you want to see what it says in in Jack's interview then? Because. Jack's interview. Yep, you know what? Fair. Let's go back over to Jack's interview here. So, you're in the band. I play bass and also guitar. I usually end up playing bass. Describe the relationship with Brian. He's more Eric's friend than mine. Eric and I have known each other since elementary and have been tight since. 
Eric introduced me to Brian in high school. That's when we started playing together, i.e. the band formed. I was working most of the day. I eventually left, headed to Brian's place. I bumped into Grace at the lobby, went up together at 6.45. Did you see anyone right front of the apartment? This interview presumably took place after speaking to yeah. Grace, giving that question. Other than the guy at the front desk, all of us had something to drink, so some things might be unclear, but they hadn't started drinking at that point. So, But Grace was being pretty obnoxious. Everyone agrees with that. She was also drinking heavily. Mm -hmm. Grace was drinking heavily and being obnoxious. Why was Grace at a party with her boyfriend being obnoxious to everyone? Because she saw... She thinks she saw Chris. Or, or, okay, she claims she saw Christy living. Yeah. She might be doing that to frame Christy for. If she thinks Christy and Brian were going behind her back, maybe. Yeah. Maybe what she does is she. Uh, she. Maybe what she does is she 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 murders her boyfriend and then tries to pin it on. The girl it's a stretch. who she thinks, yeah, of course it's a stretch, but I'm like, why is she being obnoxious? I think Andrew probably did it. It's too obvious because he's a dick. Mm. Uh, why did you leave? As mentioned, Brian was smoking a heavily. I can't stand the smell of it. Where'd you go? I went back home. Okay, so though we don't know the exact timing, we believe Jack leaves because he doesn't say anything about the body being found. So. Let's, and he doesn't say anything about, like, you know, be a pong or anything like that. Let's let's make an order of which people are not at the party as it goes on. At some point, Jack leaves, and it seems okay, like wait it's... wait a minute. Uh, so... So, Christy maybe leaves first. Yeah. Jack leaves after one drink. Did it say one drink? No, it said all of us had something to drink. Yeah. And then but he after leaves, I finish my drink. He leaves pretty early on. Lisa has oh, gone to God. bed. Brian smokes. We don't know precisely how long Lisa did the party. She drinks something, but she also has gone to bed before the body has been discovered before the body's been discovered. But we also know when the body was discovered, there was a two-hour time lapse before the cops were called. And we also but know that the person who that. claims to have discovered the body... Mm -hmm. She, Okay, so here we go. Andrew... Yeah. Andrew probably discovers the body. Yeah. Or kills him or whatever. Because mm -hmm. we know that, like, Eric is says, you did, did you discover the body? Yeah. You re discovered the body, and then it says in the report Eric discovers the body, but yeah, does but not call down. law enforcement for two hours. Scroll down. Andrew wake woke me up by pouring water on my face, so Andrew was awake hmm. first. Hmm. But yeah, see. Andrew either finds the body or kills Brian, then wakes up Eric for whatever reason, maybe to have someone else, quote, find the body who's not him. Yeah. Eric finds the body. Andrew goes like, no, I bought the booze. I'm going to be in trouble. Don't do it. Brian's sister wakes up, sees her brother dead, freaks the fuck out. And then nobody says when the sister has found her dead brother let's wait the problem is where does where does lisa waking up seeing the body and screaming fit into the timeline of the body being discovered by andrew and eric well it must be after because then the cops wouldn't say to eric you discovered the body yeah that's true er okay er let's let's timeline of the body being discovered According to the police report, which therefore we should probably take as fact for the sake of this investigation, mm. Eric finds the body. All right. But Andrew talks to Andrew about it. So Eric and Andrew are presumably maybe two of the three gamers in the main room. They're still awake. Lisa's gone. Jack's pissed off. Brian's dead. Uh, Wait. Okay. 
Christy's not there or has left or whatever. Christy's gone. Jack leaves early. Lisa goes to bed. Yeah. Lisa's gone to bed. Uh, Grace is... is wait, Eric Grace and Andrew have a, fa- a fight? Is it Eric and Andrew who have... Eric and, Eric and Brian are... have a fight. Yeah. Where's Grace during this part of the evening? I think she's just hanging out, but she's real fucking drunk. She claims she's, she's passed out. Mm. So, okay, Grace's story is basically just, we started drinking. She claims she's unconscious during this entire period, that even though people are going around pouring water on each other's faces, no one either successfully or even tried to wake her up. That's cocking weird. That at a point where people are literally pouring water on each other's faces to get them snap out of it, Grace doesn't wake up and apparently no one even tried to wake her up. Maybe it's because she was annoying that That's day. weird. Come on, uh, that's weird. That's really weird. Yeah. So the only three... So, okay, we've got... Lisa, yeah, but... Lisa goes to bed. Jack leaves. Grace is unconscious. Eric and Andrew are the two people... Maybe playing video games together. And... Sm- and um, Bru- no, Brian was smoking. They Maybe the, the, that's the three that are playing video games together. What? Brian, Jack and... Wait. No, Brian... Andrew and Eric. Yeah. They're the ones playing video games together. At some point, Brian goes to bed. Somebody kills well, him. Well, Brian locks himself in his room. Doesn't locks go himself to bed. in his room. Who conf- who actually said he locked himself in his room? Was that. Did someone say that? Did, 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 did. did, did. Who was it? Here we go. I'm not sure how. Dr- this is Eric. I'm not sure how drunk I was. I do remember Jack and Brian. We're having an argument. Things got heated. Brian eventually got up and locked himself in his room. Okay, but Jack and Brian, and Jack says he left early. Yeah. And I don't think anyone questions that fact. Yeah, Jack and Brian were arguing for a bit. So let's see. Yeah, he's more. Uh, yeah, he, he's not super keen on Brian anyway. He's closer to. Jack is closer to Eric. And then. Yeah, I mean, okay. And then um, there were, Jack did do the rather, rather suspicious thing where he did say he left early, but when he was challenged, okay, presumably the guy at the front desk would see you leave. He said he, he refused to, he didn't say yes, suggesting this maybe Jack true. didn't quite leave. Several people are saying... Fuck, Claire. Yeah. I've got it. Go on. Jack, okay. Jack, there's an argument between Jack and Brian, correct? Yes. Jack and Brian have this argument. Jack then conveniently decides, oh no, the smoke, I must leave. Somebody at some point Stole take, the keys. takes the keys. That Jack happened. leaves the apartment, but, ne- but never gets seen leaving the building. Mm. Jack comes back later. It's yeah, Jack. It's fucking know. Jack. But why? And What's the reason? Okay, wait a minute. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, people are saying they didn't wake... They didn't wake up Grace because her boyfriend was dead and they didn't want to call the cops. That's fair. Yeah. If they're if Andrew, maybe Eric wanted to wake up Grace. I was like, leave, just let her, let her fucking sleep to figure out what we're doing. Andrew's clearly just fucking panicked. Yeah. He's just drunk, high, panicking and making catastrophically stupid decisions. Which honestly doesn't really seem like someone who's done a murder. Yeah. Let's and I also think that none of the people who say I'm gonna Jack. kill it's Jack. none of the people who say I'm gonna kill this mofo are actually the person who did it because yeah because Andrew said he was gonna find whoever had assaulted Christy yeah and Grace says I'm gonna kill Christy for making the fail, fail, false allegation before I start Randy pushing buttons though we need and we need a motive for Jack. Because what's why? I mean, Jack's got Jack's movements vaguely stack up, but why would Jack do this? What was Jack's username? Gamer Boy. He was Gamer Boy. And let's see. Private chats with Gamer Boy were fairly, fairly polite, to be honest. In the group chat, to Gamer Boy, can't do Tuesday. I'm helping my dad at the store. It's pretty benevolent shit, to be honest. Gamer Boy wanted to go to the arcade and didn't want to go to the party in the first place. Maybe because he didn't like how much Brian smoked at the parties, like he was saying. Though the opportunity exists, I can't deny we're really lacking a particular reason why Jack would murder Brian. Could Jack be one of Christie's brothers? 
but we one we've got no evidence to point to that and two it's been suggested that her brothers are actually kind of you know sweet and not murdery mm. i'm lacking a motive here i've got a good op i've got a good series of events but i don't have myself a motive uh some people are saying uh Jack is jealous of Brian because Brian is a guitarist and he is not. The sexual assault is uh, the babysitter. The sexual assault is the red herring. It could be, you know, but it's like it's a pretty it's a pretty weak motive for murder. Mm. Like seriously, for murder. Jack's a seventeen year Jack's a seventeen year old who just is is annoyed about a band thing, so he decides to kill. I mean, he gets to be he's you know, really drunk. Maybe he was he into nice people's do murder sometimes, John. Hmm. Sometimes the game, I, I yeah, I get the game freezes for a second. I, I don't Maybe Jack worked out what happened because Christy was actually there. If Jack saw Christy leave the building, <laughs> maybe if Jack actually, you know, when Jack and Grace show up together, if he does see Christy leaving the building, yeah, and you know, like crying, and then Grace is complaining about her, he might hear Grace saying like, oh, oh, she lied about, you know, Brian or whatever. Does Grace's testimony suggest anything of the sort? No. Because I'm not sure it does. Calm down, Mr. Burns. Please focus. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's go over to Andrew, Captain Suspicious. Arrived at the apartment about the same time as Lisa, and everybody was already there, but it's kind of hard to say for certain which of the two of them arrived first. Uh, it's mid... It's okay. What happened after? It's after midnight. I'm tired as... Oh, that's, that's him talking to the police officer. I was in the toilet puking for quite a bit. What, ap what happened after, but they're not saying after what? Yeah. I was in the toilet puking. Then I woke up Eric. Which goes with what Eric was saying. Where, yeah. Where was Jack? No one saw him for the rest of the Hang night. Hang on. Did he wake up Eric because of the corpse? I mean, when they're saying what happened after, I'm not sure after what they Maybe mean. after you found his body. Yeah. That's, the, the most reasonable reading of this is after the is after he finds the body. I was in the toilet puking quite a bit, and not just because of the drugs, because I've just seen a dead body. Oh, you know yeah, that what? Makes sense. Physical reaction to seeing the corpse of a friend while you're drunk might be vomiting. After he stops vomiting, he goes and he wakes up Eric. He pours water on his face. Mm. Where's Jack? We don't know. Jack's gone. Possibly because he was sick of smoke, possibly because he did it. You were the one who brought the drinks to the party. Yes, you're old enough to drink. Did you contaminate the drinks in any capacity? Okay. So yeah, then I woke up Eric, but there's no the the uh, the interview doesn't include any mention of the fact that he was the one who said don't call the cops. Mm. Okay, then I woke up Eric, but he wasn't vomiting for two hours now, was he? No, because then Eric, yeah, they said they didn't call nine one one for a while. Yeah, it says in the report you. It says in the report you discovered the that body. That could be you plural, you and Andrew. Oh fuck's sake! We need to. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll change the. We'll just. I'll change. We'll go into thirties. We'll change the language into a version which has a singular, and a, a separate singular and plural second person. That way, we'll be able to tell. Uh, you called. Uh, yeah, we'll change it into French. But ah, but maybe he's just being very formal. <laughs> Yeah, you could be able to tell by, like, the rest of the... It's not actually a bad idea. No, the it's... translation gives you more... You uh... discovered the body and called law enforcement after two hours. Why did you take... Well, unless Andrew says Eric found the body, even though Andrew was the one that found the body. Mm. Okay, why did you take so long to call law enforcement? Andrew was against it. Send me about Andre drinking and him getting into more trouble than the rest of us. Trust me, he didn't do it. I know, because I did! Or something. If Eric did do it, why would he be trying to yeah, cover know, for I other know, people? Know, it's weird. It would be a very strange thing. I know, I'm just making shit up. Um... I must have passed out. Yeah, next thing I remember was Andrew pouring water on my face. Lisa says she had a pretty big argument with Brian last week. What's the argument that happens a week ago between Brian and Eric? Who's Eric again? That's not... 
Eric is He's the... He's like Game Boy. Well, Eric is someone who we don't know what they play because it's not the... No, I mean the username. Sorry. Strikers. Striker. Can we figure out what that big argument that he was... Well, he was on my case about interrupting rehearsal with my mistakes. But yeah. I wonder if Strikers is the one who is was that... told you can't bail. Does that meet match up with this? Uh, there's there's no private chat with Strikers. No. But who was it who, kept, who had bailed before? Was that Gamer Boy? Uh, no, no, no. I mean in the private chats. Uh, that's Jester. Who's Andrew? It's Andrew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jester's Andrew, right? You're the yeah. only one who knows how to play the drums. We need to. We need to. We need to line up. Okay, let's let's take let's let's take yeah. this back to 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 basic solving a mystery here. Yep. Who has got a reason based on the wild random matter of floating out? Who's got the reason to kill? Well, let's let's start with motive. What Andrew. are the various reasons we could specify that these people would want to kill Brian? So Andrew's jealous because he loves Christy and somebody, um, and you know he has reason to think that Brian assaulted her. Yep. Yeah, okay. Decent. Decent motive. Um. Christy has potentially been sexually assaulted by Brian, mm -hmm. though odd that she would go and speak to the person who sexually assaulted her alone at his apartment the night of a party. Mm. Odd. Yeah. Who else has got... Lisa pr Lisa probably not. I don't see any particular reason why Lisa is, is doing this. So wait this. a minute. The, the other bag, which is not the blue bag, might belong to Grace. She was upset about summer camp and there's a ribbon decoration on the inhaler. Uh, Let's go back to yeah. We we thought this was Gracie's bag all along, right? No, I thought we thought this was this is to Mister and Missus Carter. Wait, is that wasn't that Gracie? No, Carter. Carter is Christy. Christy oh, sorry. Carter. Wait, Grace this is, is Christy's Burns. bag at the scene. Yeah. Oh. And then we have got wait. What's the ribbon? People are saying the ribbon. Mm. Ribbons represent. Jack she went in to steal the key. Jack could be her brother. If the inhaler bag had the note about Christy failing, that that could be evidence of Jack being her brother. Could it? Why would that make that? I don't follow that. Um, Are we certain Carter is Christy? Yes. Yes. Okay. But. But what they're saying is that the bag doesn't have to be Christy or Gracie. It could belong to a boy whose name is Carter. True. If true, true, has... true. Well, do we have any evidence to point to somebody having these particular no. medical conditions one way or the other? Mm. What are these? What the, are the link is Jack having asthma because he can't cope with smoke. All right. That's in that's very that's extraordinarily stretchy. What are the things on the right, by the way? These I do not recognise. I don't know for sure. I don't know what these are. Like I, I don't know what these those are in the slightest. Maybe that, that is that where you dispose of like used uh, maybe I syringes don't know. from the pens. I don't know. Mm. Like is that what it says over here? Hold the orange tip. Jab. Course, it doesn't say anything about disposal. I don't know if that's maybe a thing right there. Hmm. Is there something in the front pocket of that bag at all? Or? No. Nothing else. It's just those two items. Oh, that bag does not even have a front pocket. Fair enough. Yeah. I like how. That's just, uh... You're, I mean, Andrew's got the clearest motive here. You did lay out a, a solid motive. Mm. And also the opportunity. Literally, there's a period when everyone's either passed out and if he wanted everyone to pass out uh. so he could do it, he could provide and tamper with the booze. There... They are aero chambers for taking inhalers. Okay. I, I'm afraid Spaces I'm... Spaces for use with inhalers. I was unaware of what that was. Nebulizer for the inhaler. So, okay. 
uh, if Andrew wants to do this, Andrew has got the opportunity to either bring people stronger than expected booze or indeed potentially if he's the one bringing the booze, do something to the booze to contaminate it as the police were suggesting. He can get everyone out the way, relative or unconscious, that way without too much difficulty. Hmm, but the keys, I mean, if he's also, the beers are over here, if he's dumping the beers over here, that's an opportunity to grab the keys without anyone paying too much attention to the side mm. of the room, he's literally come over into the kitchen to put the beers down when he arrives, so he's got an opportunity to do that, wait, hang on, when did Lisa, Lisa arrive versus Andrew? Andrew, can Andrew possibly have taken the keys if he arrives at roughly the same time as Lisa and Lisa sees the keys are already gone? If it's Andrew that did it, that uh. means Andrew's second last and Lisa's last. Uh. That's the only way that makes any sense. If we think Andrew did it, then Andrew must be second last. Because he's got the keys before, before Lisa arrived. Mm. Sorry, I'm just reading people's, like, wild speculation about what it might be this i think we might be starting to get somewhere here andrew's the owner of the blue sports bag andrew could be the killer the second last to arrive is andrew and who died is andrew <laughs> it's 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 all andrew it's it's that so brian olsen is the person who died brian olsen or son olson yeah I'm I'm willing to put this in. Yeah, this we is, can You know try what? It. I'm going to say the but answer. But I think it, yeah. I think the answer is Brian and then Andrew, Andrew, and more cocking Andrew. And if the killer is not Andrew, then we can try Jack. Do we know Andrew's surname, by the way? No, we don't. No, we don't. don't. So. Okay, I'm going to submit this. I'm going to see if I'm right. All right. It would be hilarious if it's zero. I'll take it. I don't know who the cock died. <laughs> oh, they're ages. Wait, 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 wait. No, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> Fuck it. Wait, what? Do you want this case file or would you like to revisit any scenario? Potentially revisit, because we might want to do this later, but I want to I want to get the Maybe we're supposed to click on the click on the dub with the scenario one. Okay, we'll try it again. We'll try it again. Okay, okay, okay. Um Jack is seventeen, Brian, Andrew, and Eric were all eighteen. Yeah. Jack's, yeah, it's definitely Jack's bag. Come on! Well done. You've passed this case file. I've got two out of four. Okay. So, obviously, Brian's the person who's dead. That means Andrew's the answer to one of those three. I think Andrew owns the blue bag. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so I was wrong in every other way. Okay. Can I, can I, can I, can I give it a try then? You can now give it a try. Okay, so okay. It's time for Claire to try. Now I failed. Claire may now logic it out. Well, I mean, to be fair, the chat did a fair amount of the logicking out. Okay, let's, let's hear you. Okay, let's hear you flipping Poirot this. All right. Let's, let's, you gather everyone in the drawing room and now talk us okay, through. Okay, well, go to the questions then. Because that was me trying to use the mouse, but it's yeah. not very good at... Talk, talk us through it, Claire. Okay, I think... My, my suspicions were first aroused when Miss Scarlet was seen in the garden with the lead pipe. Yes. Okay, so talk us I through believe it, Claire. Um, yes. that who died was Brian. Yeah. Uh, I believe that Andrew was the owner of the blue sports bag. Yes. Which means that I think the second last to arrive would be... Uh, would be... Must be Lisa, Lisa. if it's not Andrew, yeah. Yeah. Fine, w yeah. Lisa Olsen, because we know her surname. Uh, yeah. And then I also believe that the murderer, the killer, was Jack. And I don't know if we want to... Well, that was my, my first based on opportunity. I thought that was true, but what's the motive? Because Christie's his sister and Brian assaulted her. Did we know that Jack and Christy were brother and sister? What's what's that to point towards that? The fact that in his bag that has the inhaler and talks about him being still in school because he's 17 and everybody else is 18. Yeah. It has something that addresses his parents, the Carters, and Carter is Christy's surname. Yeah, well, uh, well, I, my first thought, I, I started typing Jack straight away, but I just mm. couldn't find the I wonder motive. if we have to put Jack Carter, though. Four out of Yay! four! 
It was Jack. But the thing is, do we actually know whether or not Brian did it? Whether Bri whether Brian actually did sexually assault Christy and why Christy was visiting Brian? Do we actually know that? We or if she know. even did? If she even did? Well, Grace saw Grace could her. have been wrong. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Grace it's could have been also straight up wrong. That Christy visited him early on to steal the spare key. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh. oh. If you were granted the power to pardon one of the perpetrators, who would you choose? Oh, the mom in the first one. Well, she has two daughters to take care of. It's true. She literally took out a, a possibly drunken intruder who was coming in to kidnap. Also had a restraining order against her. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, 401. Let's go. That's, that's, yeah, done. That's, 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 that's absolutely a-okay. Would you like to tackle? Okay. Do you want to go into the final exam, Claire? Oh, go on then. We're going blood into... Bath. We're going into bloodbath. Let's let's go bloodbath. Loading bloodbath. Blood <laughs> okay. Loading so we missed the sur the surname thing was quite critical. So all right, it's September twenty fifth, nineteen ninety eight. So the original gate the original game console GC is going to be a fairly uh fairly oh. big thing. So okay, there's it was this guy. <laughs> this guy did it. It was you. So okay, we've got a dead person. There's there's quite a few. Okay, can you like look look at the look at the dead person properly? No, I'm just, I'm just getting grips with the I'm just getting grips with the the wider the wider room. It's so unhelpful. Okay, I just like to know the vague layout and try and piece together vaguely what happened. A lot of cocky people are dead here. <laughs> Hang on, what what are, what are the questions? Got a lot of questions. This might be a bit too aggressive for us to start to, to take on at 11 p.m. at night actually. What is in the package by the exit? Was the gun the killer using standard issue? Who died in the office door? We're not going to know this because, you know. How many people were murdered? Who was the dirty cop? I think this might be a bit... Yeah, this, might, this, this one might be a bit too final exam -y. This one might be a bit too much of a final exam for us to, to, to begin at 11pm. I think possibly we might have to consider this coming back as an option for a vote in the future. This is this is clearly like three in one, the mega final exam where a lot of people are going to all of a sudden end up dead. But this is, this is the final one. This is the final one right over here. But all right, a lot, a lot of people have ended up quite dead... This, this person's really cocking dead. Yeah. Like, catastrophically dead. Right there. <laughs> Looks like it was the Terminator. It, it does It does kind of feel slightly like a, a Terminator scenario where something has just kind of... Uh, someone has just walked through murdering everyone on this occasion. That that certainly appears to be the case. A lot of people... Are, what if you just have to literally count the, count the outlines to figure out how many people are dead, which would be cocking hilarious. What was in the package by the exit? Oh, that package. This package writes. Keep doing the bloody thing. Okay, if I go to here, go to here. There we Voided go. Voided contraband. Contraband to Kyle Cropper from we can't entirely say. What, from Albany, New York? Mm hmm. From a Harry Baker. There we go. Something, something weird's going on. Okay, this is this is too much for us to take on. It's too late at night for us to, for us to begin uh, for us to begin working on that. I'm afraid. Sorry, that's that that's more than I thought it was going to be. Right there, we're we 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 just we 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 just we're just getting straight out of that one. So yes, there's a little preliminary tutorial. We've we've got we've... Robocop was here. That Hawaiian shirt was a capital offence. <laughs> oh dear. Oh flipping dear! So all right, we've we've completed the fourth floor. We've had a bit of a long day actually. I've I I was I was out visiting family. Then I recorded Fallout. Then we did this. So I think and we're going to. And you went to, to a, you went and had a walk with the good boy. And I walked a good boy. So I think we're we're not going to start the final exam right now because I think I'll be very very tired. Yeah, we did, especially we... since you have to walk the baby in the morning tomorrow. Yes, as we did indeed uh, turn off the Super Chat Claire, you've just got a few community messages coming in, because obviously the uh, community members still get their little uh, their little monthly message, I believe. Yes, indeed. Shout out to Gary, who's been a member for 22 months, and says, making a scene. 
I see. It's a pun. Silver Iron's been a member for 13 months and says, Time to crime! Wait. Or it's similar. So it's, yeah, sure. Yes. Or in, inverted crime. We're doing inverted crime. Uh, if the MATN crew were Batman characters, would Ted be ace? This is from Steve, who's been a member for 32 months. Yeah. Oh, Ace is in the, the Ace the dog, not as in Ace is in the, the the Royal Flush Gang. I was I was confused there for a second. I only know Ace from Doctor Who. That's that's fine. Yes, Ted can absolutely be Ace. Yeah, Gary. Not, he's not quite as fearsome, to be honest. <gasps> Ted's got as much. Shh, Ted does. Don't listen. Ted's got baby. as much woof as Ace, but he's not got as much bite. Hi, Bunny. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Ted. A shout out to Gary, who's been a member for 12 months, and says, hello all and happy one year. Happy one year to you too, Gary. Chupa Thingy's been a member for 28 months and says, OMG, John, don't try to figure out the cooking. Let's Claire do it, please. You will set something on fire this time. I did indeed correctly I, I correctly uh, misidentify which dish was probably the beef dish. So that's, that's, that's kind of on me. Oh, Ted. Ted's also got up and I think he wants his little adventure in the garden. I think so he wants a lot of cuddles. He wants some cuddles. We he can't, wants to know we what can't, happens on MasterChef. We can't solve Ted now. We can't, we can't solve Ted now. We can't solve crime now. We've got, we can't solve Ted now. We've got to crime. We've got to go and cuddle crime. We've got to solve the mystery of how Ted managed to be such a good boy. Yes, hello. Oh, are you hearing the Ted noises, chat? That was definitely a roar from Ted there. Uh, Molly's been a member for 24 months and says, I'm looking forward to catching the VOD since I'm at my parents for Thanksgiving. I am thankful for the MATN channel, the staff and community. And we're thankful for all of you lot. Indeed. We're also thankful for Denial101, who is a new channel member. So welcome to the Green Club. Welcome, welcome. Claire and I were just talking today about how we're definitely going to watch the chat. We want to add more little, like, you know, unique emojis for the community members. Yeah. We definitely want to little... do oh, that. Okay, Ted. So we're going to try and make that happen. All right, we're going to yeah. give you guys more cool, unique stuff for every, every live stream if we can. I mean, that'll yeah. be a cool thing to do. Just try and make sure we have some nice things for... Uh, Yeesh, good boy. For you guys. Ooh. Oh. Pardon me. <laughs> I've opened up so many extra windows through just randomly misclicking. Uh, <laughs> because the, the mouse wouldn't stay locked in the window, so it was going yeah, all was over the place. Weird. It was wild. Uh, McGruff the Crime Dog. Oh, oh he is McGruff the Crime Dog. Whatever the name of the dog is in uh, in English, who is uh, who is uh, in Inspector Gadget and helps. Penny. Oh, um, brains. Isn't he brains? I, I don't know because I don't remember the. Because I've never, I've never actually seen Inspector Gadget in English. If you search yeah, Penny and Brains, then that might be. Is it brain? Brain singular. Yeah, yeah he's brain. He's I mean, brain. He has a bit of a look of brain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah, I think that I think that was halfway to deviant fan art there that you just stumbled De deviant into. Deviant art fan art, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's that. No, yeah. Yes, it was like brain. You, my Ted. Except uh, brain had a brain. Wow. <laughs> Ted just uses the empty space for his ears to store additional biscuits when necessary. So right. What you're saying is Ted's Inspector Gadget. No, Ted. Right, Lovely we're gonna Teddy. go. We're gonna go cuddle a dog and eat some food and etc. etc. But obviously, coming up over the next week, you've got all usual stuff. But you've got a really fun Fallout for some settlements. You've got hopefully uh, Alan Wake too. I, I had some trouble getting it running. Uh, last week. Oh, you've managed it. I think it's working now. So we're going to do a little, have a look at Alan Wake 2. And depending on what, I've got a really cute little, uh, really, really cute indie uh, I've got in my back pocket. I just need to get code and the embargo data. Maybe I'll just bring it to you next month. But um, I don't know for certain oh, nice. whether I'm going to, when, when I'm getting it, uh, when, when the embargo is. But I've got such a cute little indie. Well, I'm excited my... for that just from the name. I know. I've got a really cute <laughs> indie in my back pocket. And oh, the podcast is back. Podcast early access for all Patreon and community members uh, coming up next Monday should be then uh, available to the public two weeks after that. So podcasts back. We've recorded the next podcast. We discuss a lot about Starfield. A lot of Starfield discussion. 
uh, in the podcast. So lots of cool stuff coming up next week. Hopefully something oh. that catches you fancy. And oh, yes. Hey, shout out to Denial101, our newest member, who says it was my first stream after 10 years of watching videos. I had a great time and will definitely be back. Oh, good. I'm glad it's to hear it. Lovely That's lovely to hear That's that. lovely to hear that we apparently put on a decent show. Uh, I'm not sure what next week's stream's going to be. I know we said it was going to be Kamazoo this week. I just changed my mind. So God knows next week. Maybe Kamazoo. Maybe some Alan Wake. Maybe, maybe something else entirely. I have no cocky clue. So yes, we're going to go eat some food now. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, hopefully uh, we, you know, we find some videos that uh, take your fancy. Or we see you next week for a little bit more live. And hopefully, you know, you just enjoy something. And hopefully you're having a lovely Thanksgiving too. Yes, indeed. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Happy if Thanksgiving. you're celebrating. We're going to go cuddle. Ted now thank you very very much for joining us hopefully see you next week and yeah just have a lovely lovely evening indeed but in the meantime I've been job I've been Kurt it's been been Ted, Ted, Ted down, down there he's down behind us now at this point there's been many a true nerd and this has been the I quite enjoy scene investigators yes this even if fun. we didn't successfully solve a single crime we didn't we solve one crime did in the end we put the wrong people these. behind bars several times first thank you very much and have prison <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> <laughs>